No, no. You know what I'm going to try and figure out today? You know what I'm going to try and figure out today? Whose case identity? Because you know that guy K? He's wearing this robot suit on, on the entire time. What the hell happened to me? Jumpy, are you alright? Hey, what are you two doing? Come on, are you coming? What do you mean to do to us? Try using your brain. All of the cards are in the Holy shit, this is nuts. Let me show you. Yeah, no, try using your brain. How are you feeling? I am high as fuck right now. I'm plenty friendly. Hold on a minute! That is the truth. Who am I? How can I forget? How do I keep it on? What makes you so sure? Hello? How's your day going? Yeah. It's going good. We, they should put us in the no. They should put us in this game. It's no big deal. Just get kidnapped with nine other people. You can do that. There's one thing I will always do. You know why Xbox is so shit? Xbox is shit because this game came out five years ago for PC. It takes them so long to get shit. What's this supposed to be a picture of? There, there are those balls in my kid show, right? If you collect seven of them, then you get a wig. Wait, what? What? That's not a kid. Oh, she's talking about Dragon Ball Z. She has to be. Because she's like, oh, there are those balls from that kid show, right? If you collect seven of them, you get a wish. But there's more than twice that here. Oh, then it's a set of lower balls. Then, look, I think it's probably him. Just grab them and bring it with you. You have.
have obtained a poster. Yeah, let's just build this screen over the pool table. I think it's a school board. Oh, what's this? My god! This deer must have sprayed halfway through the wall and then gotten stuck off a river. That's just a bouncing head. Oh. I did think it had extraordinary long legs. <laughs> oh, what's this? Um. Oh, how nostalgic. This is the jukebox. It plays an old form of music medium known as a rap. The push of a few buttons you can listen to your favorite songs. Looks like it's not quite good. There's an outlet over there, but I don't think the cable is long enough. You won't reach. It doesn't look like it. Guess we can't use the jukebox right now. Wait. Extension cord. Hmm. If I could make this extension cord for the the plug into the outlet. Ah. <laughs> The extension cord is connected and plugged in. Unfortunately, it seems it isn't on. I believe we need to insert a coin before the machine will operate. Am I gonna get a coin? Alright. Looks like this box is connected to the ride. I can't say for sure, but don't rise after you acquire it. Yeah, but I don't see any of the Have you looked closely at the line? It seems to be a slot in the mouth. And that's it. What's this? A blue box with a lion's face on it. One of the lower corners of the Find the key. We also
up from the sidewalk. Sounds good. Does this explain how darts work? Apparently, I wonder if these are instructions for darts. Are these the rules? Is the darts wrong? Or anything? I have no idea. It's not darts, just a way to play. I guess some people use it that way, but darts is legitimate. I didn't find it worth it. What? Were you confused to see how many girls did you get? Don't! <laughs> <laughs> the automatic scoreboard, huh? Nice. Let's play some darts. I got it for it. We had some darts to get it again. Um. Yeah. Are these? Yes, I believe these are the variety known as the Hawks. Oh. Alice, please try. I'm not eating that! <laughs> I don't care what kind of claw it is! I don't know, I'm not I'm, They look like peppers to me. You know what soft cards are. They use plastic tips instead of little ones.
This suit of armor is holding up. Uh, this is the part of the cube stuck that we're removing. I don't know. Yeah, I can't get the wrench back. Out. Perhaps the wrench is part of it. Now. If it is, that makes sense. I'll solve a look at it. Doesn't it look like a turbo cube? I think when you just open a lock. It took a bit of work to make, but yes, yeah. the tip does look remarkably small. Okay, here we go. Go. I'm ready to take a look inside. You know, I was all excited about finding the rich after the time. I agree. The market is strange. I'm feeling the end of this ride. That seems likely. In any event, we may as well take a few of them. Put one in! Oh, are you trying to put a coin in there? Yeah, I think if I put a coin, maybe it'll make you start off, right? Hmm. Okay, I'll just drop a coin in and... I give this to you as a memento of our time together, Sigma. Uh, I don't know. Really, just hold me. I would have very much liked that engagement. Seems like it's no. Oh wait, there's something here on the left. C9D1. I wonder what that is. sitting in the juice box.
light on the frame in the middle of the screen now. Oh yeah, it is. I'm guessing that means we might have a lot. What's this thing? It's a box of darts in it, isn't it? It is. Look at picture of K, my guy. How much points do you want? We may have to use our heads a bit more for this one. Get score 91. Oh, 91. Oh, okay. Is that not 91? Get a score. Keep in mind, however, the score for each area must have a specific relationship to the other scores. Toss a dart into each area to reach the correct Throw a dart at a particular area dealt by the
How's it going? Oh. Oh, I'm surprised you joined the party. <laughs> Well, how's it going? What? You've been up there a while. Oh, you joining the party when you get back? Ah, uh, he's sleeping right now. He's sleep. He told me he was gonna take a nap. <laughs> Yeah, he's sleeping. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll see you when you get back. Excuse me. Looks like you got it. Well done, Sigma. What's up? 
bathroom. Is this a password? Oh, well done. This must be for the safe. You have found a safe password. Found a safe pass. Now we can get out of here. Yeah. 
sun. Mm. Geo doesn't open the gate like it did in the other timeline. And that would be a disadvantage.
the ice cream?
What is this place? A warehouse? Hey, look over there. <sighs> Shall we have a look then? So where are the weapons? Are are those chromatic? They're all the same though. They're all the same though. White. Oh, this one's locked. This one won't open either. This one won't open either. <sighs> It looks like they have the same looks locking like mechanism same as the locking other chromatic doors. <laughs> so those will be the next doors to open. We should go right. with the others now. Right. That sub be looking good. Are you watching my stream? Because it says somebody is. for coming to watch my stream. No. I just feel as if I've seen this warehouse before. Wait, you've been here before? I don't know. Perhaps I haven't been here. Maybe somewhere very similar. You mean the floor A warehouse? Perhaps. Perhaps. Ah. An Ambidex gate has been opened. Yeah. Forty-five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. So much time on deal to the Someone else must have opened one of the AB gates. Before we got back? I imagine they don't care what happens to the rest of us. I imagine they don't care what happens. That would be the most logical explanation. In any event, we should return quickly. Yeah, let's get going. Was it the old man? Of course, deal with some of the other ones. Sigma? Sigma? Was it you? Or Gia? Yeah. <laughs> nope. Not back we were the first. Then wait a little longer before you open the AB gate. It wasn't us. I tried to stop him, but... 
Uh, come on, it's not like when we open the door really affects the matches, right? It's cool. No, it's not cool. Oh, I had a different attitude. Last time he's like, last time he's like, oh, you got a problem with that? Your team returned quite early, DL. Did your investigation go smoothly? I guess. I guess. <laughs> The treatment center. The treatment center. How is that different from uh, there were these pod things. Look, just go see for yourself, all right? I don't feel like explaining it. You took something from the treatment center, didn't you? Uh huh? What are you talking about? You did. I saw it too. What? After we opened the safe. You grab something out of it and put it in your pocket. Put it in your pocket. Show Dio. us what you took. Show us what you took. Uh, get away from me. Get away from me. It should be in this one. Let go. Let go. Before Dio could push her away, Clover found her. I knew it! Huh? What's wrong? Hey, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Fucking Dio <laughs> at it again. An injection gun. The label on the valve says. I don't know, but I feel like I've heard that name before somewhere. Give it back. I found it, so it's mine. What? Hell no! Hey! In a desperate launch, Dio managed to grab the gun back from the hole. But before she had a <laughs> Guys, he has a gun! Dio's got a gun! Have any of you seen Quark? Any of you seen Quark? Anyone? Please! Please! <laughs> We found Something a pantry on the other side of the red door, but after we left, he just disappeared. We've looked everywhere, but we can't find him. Oh. Don't you think you're being a little optimistic there? Come on, that little jerk's probably dead by now. We've already found one corpse, right? What the hell is wrong with you? Ooh, Dio! How could you? My Why would you say you such a horrible thing? Whoa, simmer down there. Simmer down. Just saying it's a possibility. It's a possibility. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, even if it is, yes. what are we looking for? Yes. Is he gonna fall out as far as Alex staring at me? Seems strange, but looking for Quark was my priority. I turned him toward the magenta door. Gotta find him. Huh. Quirk. Are you in here? Guess not. Damn. Come on. Come on. Come on. Back in here. 
Quark, well, where are you? He's not here either. Where the hell did he go? Ah, Sigma. Any luck? Nothing. You see. Find him what about you? Never mind. Indeed. I went to the treatment center, as well as the Floor B warehouse, but it was not there. Oh well. Let's head back Good idea. Perhaps the others have had more luck. Yeah. Did okay. you find him? Did you find him? Sorry, I couldn't find him anywhere. I see. Are the three of you the only others to have returned? Yeah, we're it. Yeah. No clues or anything. I don't get it. With this many people looking, it seems like we'd be able to find him pretty fast. Yeah. Quark is only a child. It's possible he's become trapped in a small, enclosed space. Yeah, you're right. Quark. Tamioya's shoulders slumped. He looked old, much older than he had when we met. I could see a tear glistening in the corners of his eyes. For just the moment I saw him, then all of his pain, fear, and despair, and it felt like someone had put my heart on the pause. Then Dio appeared, and the mood suddenly changed. Hey! You guys, come here! You guys, come here! What are you standing around for? Standing They're, in the around for. They're in the crew quarters! They're in the crew quarters! Just huh? come on! Just come on! Wait, Dio found him? Dio, you be a bitch, uh, you know that? Crew quarters. Oh. Also, he's got like that fucking gun of some kind. Can't trust Dio when they. What happened no. to her? No. What happened to Luna? Wait, a did Alice go crazy again? What happened to Luna? We're looking for Quark. Alex is dead. Luna's on the ground. Wait, they're both dead? How? Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. There was a rolling in my eyes, breathing hard, heartbeat, but my footsteps sounded muffled as if I was hearing them through layers of cotton. I passed a shaking hand to Alice's neck. Her skin was still warm, but the only pulse I felt was my own. Looking down, it was clear why. Something had to into her chest, so far that only the hilt was visible, and the entire front of her body was covered in blood. No one could survive something like that. But what happened to her? I forced myself to swallow the stinging Unlike Alice, at first glance, she seemed unharmed. As I reached for her neck to check for her pulse, however, I saw a red mark near her jawline. Did Alice do that? Nearby on the floor sat an injection. I already knew what I would find. Just my fingers to her neck and waited nothing. Did she inject herself? They're... they're dead? Dio, my did you God. do this? God. You're the only one with the injection gun, What on Dio. earth happened here? That bastard killed them! Whoever it was Ooh. that killed the old lady in the AB room. You're saying this mysterious, mysterious person killed Maybe the only one of them was supposed to be killed, but the murderer had to kill the other to keep them quiet. Or perhaps they killed one another. Luna stabbed Alice in the chest, after which Alice attacked her with the injection gun. Huh? Wait, Luna stabbed Alice in the chest? Why? That's pretty far-fetched. Far Look. Look. Look at Alice's clothes. Look at Alice's clothes. No, sign of a no sign of a struggle. I don't think they fought. Think they fought. Then were they killed then somewhere they else and then brought here? Then brought here? No. If that were the case, that there, would the case there would be much less blood. I guess that's true. I guess that's true. Hmm. 
Whatever the case, we have too few clues to figure it out right now. We'd all separated to look for Quark. Any one of us could have done it. Do you think there's someone else in here? Do you think that Zero Senior killed these two, as well as the old woman? Hmm. Oh, give me a break! How can you just sit around here talking? No point in making a fuss. Are you fucking kidding me? One of us is a killer. I can't think of a better reason to make a fuss. You do realize you're the most likely suspect, don't you? Excuse me? You wait until the rest of us have gathered in the warehouse. Then you kill Alice and Luna. You pretended to be the first to find them and... Are you saying I did this? I'm just saying it's a possibility. You don't need to get so worked up about it. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Oh my god! All players, please enter your votes. I don't like this fucking timeline bullshit. I went with them. If I went with Luna, would she survive? Like, man, it's some fuck shit right here. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. <laughs> so if you don't vote, your choice is set to ally? This that means Luna's vote will be ally. Yes, it does. Yes, Perhaps yes. that outcome Perhaps is what the killer was after. The killer was after. <laughs> they killed Alice and Luna for that. Quark and, Quark and myself. One person is missing and the others bought the farm. I'd say this old fart's the most suspicious one here. You want to say that to my face? Yeah. You killed her so you could get a few more points in the AB game. Are you an idiot? How do you explain Alice? She's playing against K, not me! Uh, not quite. Even without his partner Alice, Sigma will still be able to cast a vote as he wishes. Then maybe that's why Luna died. Maybe they meant to kill Sigma, but something went wrong and they... Maybe they meant to kill Sigma, but something went True. wrong and they... True. I suppose that is a possibility. But we are engaging in pure speculation here. There is little to no evidence to support any of this. Any of this? Oh, God. Well... We should take their bracelets with us then. Oh my god, we can't go back and save them! We have to do the AB route! Oh. Hey, do they really matter anymore? Without their bracelets, some of us would be unable to open the secondary chromatic doors. You're pretty calm, yeah. pal. Pretty calm, pal. Too, calm. Too calm. You did it, didn't you? you, did it, didn't you? A sterling deduction. A sterling I await your further insight. Your further insight. He wears a mask, yeah. therefore he is guilty, perhaps? He wears a mask, therefore What did you just guilty, say? Perhaps? Are you fucking with me? <laughs> Agreed. We aren't getting any younger here. I apologize. We should return to the warehouse. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going I can't anywhere. just leave her here. Leave her here. If you don't vote, Dio might, vote. Dio might get out. Huh? Huh? He's got six BP, got right, six now. BP right now. If you don't vote, you, don't you will vote, automatically, ally, automatically and ally. And I bet my left and arm he'll pick, arm betray. He'll pick betray. That'd be three points, That'd be three points which, will nine. which will put him at once nine. Once he's got that, once he's got there's that, nothing stopping him from opening the number nine door. I'll try and pick ally, of course. But Dio's not an idiot. Not an idiot. He'll try and stop He'll me or get in my way somehow. Dio will have nine, nine points? points? What are you gonna do, Clover? Gonna do, Clover? If you stay here, you might stay be letting here. Alice's killer, killer get away. Fine. Fine. I'll do it. Do There's it. no way I'm going to let him get nine points. Good. Let's go. We think Dio did it, yes. Fuck. We need to find out who... There, there wasn't a killer on the last timeline. Right? But now there is. 
Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Hmm. Your deep breath and unlock the AP room. No matter how hard I look for answers, all I found were more questions. Who killed Alice and Luna? Where was Quark? I wasn't in any kind of mood to play along with the heroes or the first games. But at this point, I don't really have a choice. I heaved a silent sigh and started toward the entrance to my AP room. Sigma. Sigma. What would you say to voting would ally? To voting I would reciprocate, of course. Of course. Sigma, what would you say to voting ally? I would reciprocate. You have 5 BP. If we both ally, then you will gain 2 points, leaving you with 7 in total. Should you also cooperate mutually in the following round, you would gain another 2 points, bringing you to 9. Conversely, if you were to choose to betray me during this round, you would gain 3 points, for a total of 8. In other words, you will be unable to reach 9 BP until the round following this one. That being the case, choosing ally is the most logical choice. True, but how Me? Many points do you have? As I recall, you and Clover chose to betray in the first AP game. That means you should have 6 BP right now. If you betray me, you get another 3. You could get all the way to 9 this ah. round. Yes, that is true. However, escaping as soon as possible is not my goal. That was in the interest of my own safety. As I only had three points at the time, the prospect of losing two of them was very unsettling. Now that I have six BP, I have some room for error. What did you want to get out of here soon? Of course I would like to, but attempting to do so would be unwise. Isn't it obvious? If I escape on my own, everyone else will be trapped here forever. Have you forgotten what Zero told us? Trust you remember now? Precisely. Did you not realize? Hmm. Perhaps I shouldn't have said anything. Don't tell me you're planning to I would never do that. Consider the following. If I did manage to get to nine points before anyone else, do you think the rest of our companions would allow me to leave? Especially knowing that if they did, they would remain here for the rest of their lives? Well, no, of course. You see? Stop, you see? Working toward leaving as a group is the most logical choice for me. One minute remains until Ambedex game polling closes. Our time is nearly up. I trust you will choose wisely. Yeah, of course. You too. I trust in you, Kay. I fully can trust in you. 30 seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Still, even if he did have nine points, he might not try and sleep right away. The question was, how much could I trust? How much trust could I give a man whose face I'd never seen? Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Excuse me. 
Watch the flow chart. This would have been the betray, betray down there, but we did the ally. Wait a minute. Is that side ally and that side's betray? Wait, why is the betray longer? So Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. <coughs> Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Is he really going to escape? <coughs> Is the robot really a piece of shit? <coughs> Points have been assigned or <coughs> subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. What? So you did indeed choose ally. I apologize. Sigma! Sigma! Fucking idiot! LK's got nine points thanks to your stupid ass. Shut up, Dio. You were gonna get nine points. I apologize for taking further advantage of your trust, but I will be leaving. What? What? Kay! Kay! So he did God damn it! Wait, you son of a bitch! Wait, you son of a bitch! Give any side that he or he up. Just grab the lever and hold it down. But maybe he doesn't have it. The answer is obvious. Two, excuse me, three people have already been murdered. If I remain, I place myself in greater danger. A simple decision, really. I'm sure you would have done. I apologize. I do intend to contact the police as soon as I have escaped. Now then. Okay, wait. The number nine door has closed. This 
means I lost. No way! Who has some dog shit right there? This ends the nonary game. Thank you for your participation. As the game is over, all doors other than the number 9 door have been unlocked. Escape is not possible. Please enjoy your stay. He's gone. He's gone. Damn it! This is all your fault, this Sigma! Your fault, Sigma! There's no point to blaming There's him no now. Blaming him now. Yeah. yeah. It's not like we can open that door again. Damn it! Damn it! No, this isn't... This can't be right. We stood there in silence staring at the door. The only exit to the outside world now. Our only chance of escape now was to help okay with keep this word in the Alice Luna, the old woman who had killed them. Who had killed them? And where had Quark gone? There, there, there were questions we still had an answer. But we had plenty of time now. Perhaps we still do. Oh, man! Trusted you, Kay. One the other timeline, you know, she's fucking. Well, I'm not gonna. Huh? Thirty seconds remain until Amadex game polling closes. Or if I choose to betray and he chooses to betray, nobody loses anything. Ten seconds remain until Amadex game polling closes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Round two of the Amadex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex Gates now opening. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Right, escaping. Okay. Okay, you son of a bitch. <laughs> so you Leading to a draw, it would seem. <laughs> you don't feel bad about it. I could ask the same of you. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I had thought that you would choose ally. <laughs> If I had, then you have not been right now. Nice try, but I As I told you before, even if I were to reach 9 BP, I would not necessarily leave immediately. 
I might choose to wait until everyone else had also reached 9 BP. Yeah, well, I considered that. Then you do not trust me. Hell no! No need to apologize. Trust must be earned in a game like this. Yeah, no shit. This is the guy who told me to trust me. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who told me to trust him so he could betray me. Indeed. Like, Clearly, I don't deserve to be trusted. <laughs> no shit! <laughs> the honesty is refreshing, but that's a really not the greatest Oh my god. So you chose Betray too, huh? You just picked Ally out of 9 BP right now. Why on earth would I have done that? There's no way Clover would have chosen Ally when you had a chance to betray her and get to 9 BP. Are you an idiot or something? Just smart asses. <laughs> so you chose to trade? Of course. Luna. Luna's bracelet is already off. No risk of a penalty for her now. That brings Quark's BP up to nine. Are you worried that he might try and get out? Well, if he were to do so, the rest of us would be trapped here. <laughs> Bet you're all pretty happy he isn't here right now, aren't you? <laughs> whoa, whoa, don't yeah, Maybe you aren't say saying it, but I know what you're thinking. No! Oh, man. The Ambidex gates have closed. Round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star keys are required to open the gates. There is no set limit on usage of the star keys. The Ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. As many times as we want. Then that means we can play the AB game over and over using those stars. So it would seem. Alright, well, where do we find them? Beyond the next set of chromatic doors. Oh? You found them already? You found them right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I forgot to tell you that. Take a look at the map. White doors, huh? White doors, huh? Maybe that's where Quark went. That's where Quark went. It's the only place the warehouse on floor B, you said? We've still got more than 80 minutes until that. Damn. Damn. We will need to form groups of colors that can make white. Time we had a look at all our colors then. I'm a magenta. Hair. As am I. You and me, huh? Better than Dio, I guess. Say something. What color are you? I'm a green solo. What's with the sigh? Forget about it. Cyan. Pear. I'm a cyan pair too. Alice and Luna's bracelets have changed as well. Both of them are yellow pairs. He's a red solo. In order to open the white doors, you'd normally need, say, red, blue, and green. Two people 
Oh yeah. Work is missing. How are you gonna open all three? That's why the pairs are magenta, yellow, and cyan. Magenta is a mix of red and blue. Yellow is a mix of red and green. So if you combine magenta with green, you get white. And so on. I see. Okay then. We just need to get to the floor B warehouse when the doors open, right? I'll be taking off then. Where are you going? Anywhere that isn't here. Hanging out with a murderer? Doesn't sound like a good time to me. The guy who insists on splitting up is usually the first to bite it. What? what? Then again, loners often turn out to be killers. Just what are you getting at, old man? You think I kill him? Well, maybe, maybe not. But you're pretty damn suspicious. You're trying to start something, you wrinkled old piece of... We have no evidence of that, no. But we do know that Zero Senior is one of us. And there is an excellent chance that Zero Senior and the killer are one and the same. And why did he kill us? Zero Senior wanted any of us dead. He While we're, we were. I don't know. What's the point of setting up this whole game just to kill off two of your Wait, then are you saying there's another you person you in here somewhere? Well, we gain nothing by standing around here. Yeah. I've got to find Quark, and soon. If we're, we're going to search, to we should go in pairs this time. I'm not going with Kay. If he decides he feels like snapping me in half, there's not a whole hell of a lot I can do about it. I'll go with anyone besides Dio. I don't want to go with Dio either. Fine. He's hardly my first choice, but I'll take Dio. Nobody wants to be with Dio. What the hell? Just figured that this way we don't have to make this into a huge argument. Besides, we're gonna be stuck with you once we go through the chromatic doors anyway. No reason to put it off. I will go with Sigma. Would you prefer someone else? That leaves me and Clover as a pair then. Yep. We'll take the cyan door on floor A and the blue door on floor B. All right. Clover and I'll take the magenta door and the red door. That leaves us with the yellow and green doors. Which well done. Let's move Got it. We were. See you later then. See you later then. Let's see if we can find a killer. Okay, are you the killer? Are you the killer, K? Someone here, technically at least. The old woman. The old woman. Oh yeah. If it weren't for the blood stains on her chest and arm, her peaceful expressions would have fooled most people into thinking she was just asleep. The blood had dried and darkened and now looked like any other stain. Huh. Wait a minute. It seems there. remarkably it seems clean. Remarkably clean. Uh, yeah, some Maybe she had something on her wrist. A watch, perhaps. Yes, it was likely removed after she was killed. That would account for the lack of blood splatter on her wrist. Huh. A watch? 
I don't know, it just looks like it was kind of white. You raise a good point. Perhaps it was some kind of jewelry? You mean like a bracelet or something? You mean like a bracelet or something? Of course. Why didn't I see it sooner? This is the same size and shape as our bracelet. Look, look, it's exactly the same. Then way. that would mean. That would mean. She was wearing a bracelet when she was killed. She was a participant. Are you sure? Us. This old woman, a player in the nonary game. Okay. Oh, no, nothing. If you're correct, then where did the thief hide the stolen bracelet? No, nothing. We were quite thorough during our earlier search. But I know that I saw nothing, and none of the others reported finding a bracelet either. And that means they've been hiding on to it. They've been holding on to it this whole time. They probably that would seem still likely. Died. No way. If they've been carrying around, the sensors in the automatic doors would have picked it up. Without the right combination of bracelets, the secondary door would... So our suspect is not only a killer and a thief, but a skilled imposter as well. After killing the old woman, they put on her bracelet. In fact, it is entirely possible they are wearing it still. Yes, it makes sense. So the killer's running around with the old woman's bracelet? Correct. They're probably wearing it. Do you remember what Zero Jr. told us? Something about how the bracelet will come off if the wearer's heart stops. I don't recall the exact words. But in any event, once the old woman had died, her bracelet would have detached, allowing the killer to easily collect it. So that they could participate in the nonary game, I imagine. I suspect what? the killer was someone who was not originally intended to be a participant. For whatever reason, however, they were willing to go to great lengths to ensure that they were. To that end, they killed the old woman, who was one of the original participants, and took her place. That? I have no idea. Certainly they must have a goal of some sort. You would have to be mad to choose to come here. But as to what that goal is, and how the killer intends to achieve it, I'm afraid I do not have even speculation. All right. <laughs> have you noticed something? Well, there's blood all over the old lady's arm. Except for right here. Right. Sigma, please tell me you're kidding. The killer would have, of course, wiped the blood off. Only a fool would walk around with a bracelet covered in blood. Yes. Have you discovered something? know how we can identify the oh? killer. We just need some we just need some of that alumina. It doesn't matter how well they cleaned it. There should be some trace uh -huh, of blood. Aha, I right. see. That could very well work. Oh. We should have everyone gather in the rec room then. Yes, Sigma my boy. That is where the luminol was, I believe. Yeah. First, we need to finish looking for pork, though. We've still got the infirmary and everything behind the green door. Once we're done with that, we can head back to Pool B. Understood. Shall we go, then? Shall we go, then? Yeah.
same as what we found on the other side of the blue door. Looks like two of them so it unlocked. does. So it does. The center and rightmost center doors, and both, right say doors both say open. Perhaps the layout here Perhaps is different. The layout here is different. Yeah. Whatever. Let's take the door on the right. Side. Quark. No, I'm just kidding. Garage bag. I don't think I've been here before. No, I haven't. Oh, what's this room? That looks like a workbench of some sort. Maybe, but what sort of one? Well, we're going to find Cora, but I'll look at a workbench. Go check Very out well. Around, all right. Very well. Nothing. Not here either. Hey, Kay. How's it going over there? Kay, can you hear me? Kay was bent over with his back to me. There ain't underneath the thing that looks like What the hell? I walked toward him as I spoke. Hey, man, what's oh, going on? Nothing. Yes. yes. Was there something? In no, there? it was empty when I found it. Yes. Was it? Yes. What are you doing staring at me? I was thinking. Born! Specifically, I was thinking about who opened this safe. What did that have No, that's unlikely. When we met up with Dio, he told us that he had been in the treatment center. The nameplate on the store says this is the Gollum Bay, however. Ah. So I believe that is the case. Which, as you can see, is why ah. I was puzzled. If Dio, Fi, and Clover did not open the safe, who did? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> There's no point thinking about it. Yes, there was another unlocked door, wasn't there? Yeah. Let's get moving. This is the room that Dio visited. Oh, okay. I don't think that's kind of strange. So now all the commodic doors have led to a single room each. So why are there two rooms on the other An side? An excellent of the question. Room? Excellent question. We can talk to the other players and see if they know anything. Can I split up and begin to look for places? Might have hidden or small holes he might have escaped from. Huh. They must be the treatment pods Dio mentioned. Shall we open it? Open it. What? What? Quart? No. Oh no. His. His bracelet. Hold on, Sigma. Oh, Calm down. Look at his chest. Can you see it moving? What? Quickly press the finger to push the 
was, it was faint, but it's hard for you to say. He's, he's alive. He's alive! What a relief. I'm so glad to know he's safe. Out loud and grabbed Kane the bear hunt. Huh? Or at least as much as one as I can manage. He patted me all the back in and shared what I thought might have been a relief. But if he's still alive, why is he first of all? Zero Senior said it would only come Perhaps Zero Senior took it off? I have no idea. Why? The Navy Zero Senior brought Quirk here and put him in his pot. This pod is for medical treatment. Perhaps Quark has contracted some sort of illness. Or how would I know that? In any event, we should return and let the rest of our companions know that we found Quark. I imagine Tenmyoji in particular will be pleased. Oh yeah. Yeah, I bet. You can, no, you can I believe it would be best to leave Quark here. As I mentioned, there is a chance he has fallen ill. If so, then removing him from the pod would be dangerous. The treatment he is currently undergoing could be compromised. True. I'll close the pod's cover then. Is that all right? Yeah. What do you mean? But well, what happens if he wakes up? Can he open that thing on his own? He'll be fine. I noticed a lever inside that can be used to open the cover. So long as no one locks the pod, he should be able to leave whenever he wants. Yes, that is what I said. But you needn't worry. You see? I have not engaged the lock. Now, we should return to the Floor V warehouse. I imagine the others are already there. We found Quark! Also, that new room I've never seen before. Tell them about the room and shit. You're late. You're one to talk. How much earlier did you get back again? I'd be surprised if you searched at all. Yeah, Clover and Tenmyoji still aren't back. So, find anything? Hell yeah! Yeah? Well, go on, spill it. Yeah, we sure did. I see. Oh, that's good to hear. Jerk, making us all worried. There is more. And that is? There is still some cause for concern. Just spit it out. Quark may have contracted an illness of some sort. As such, he has been left in the treatment pot. Will he be all right? Yeah, Probably. Do you even... Whatever. At least we found him. Pretty lucky he's alive, too. What do you mean by that? I mean what I said, genius. I'm glad he's not dead, aren't you? As equivocal as ever, I see. How kind of you to say so. So, was Quark all you found? The way you were talking made it sound like there was something else. <laughs> There's something I wanted to ask you about first. When you went through the green floor, did you search two different rooms? Two? No, just the treatment center. Just the treatment center. I see. Then what was the other one? What do you mean, the other one? 
Who could have opened it? Don't look at me. I told you, we only opened the one that went to the treatment center. Could it have been Zero Senior? Hmm. I don't know. So did you and Kay go through the other door? What was in there? Yeah. It appeared to be some sort of room for servicing something. That doesn't make any sense. So what the hell was whoever opened that door looking for? Who knows? Ten Miyoji and Clover are running rather late. Should we go and look for them? Never easy with you, is it? Well, let's get it over with. Huh. huh. This is the rec room. This is the rec room. Dio and I came here Dio earlier when we were looking for Quark. We were looking for Quark. So, why are we here? so why are we here? Was there something here you needed to see? Yeah. I said nothing. Instead, made my way over toward the cabinet. Inside was the Lumina I reached in and pulled it out. Then, headed to the light switch and flipped it. The room went dark and I headed back to where the others were still standing. Whoa, whoa, what is this? You gonna start telling ghost you stories, or something? Like ghost stories or something? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you scared of ghosts? <laughs> You're kidding me, right? You're kidding me, You're kidding me right? <laughs> then show me how brave you are. <laughs> Stick out your bracelet. You too, Our bracelets? Our bracelets? <laughs> yeah. I wanna see the underside of them. What do you mean by that? mean by that? I mean the side on the bottom. I know what you mean. What I'm asking is what the hell you think you're. Just do it. It's not hard. Should I also participate? No, you're fine, Kay. Your bracelet is a little different from ours. But I'll join in. There was a brief moment of hesitation before Dio and Phil stuck out their arms. Is Dio the killer? Whist pointed upward. This okay? This okay? Yeah. Just hold it like that for a moment. As fast as I could, I pulled the aluminum from my pocket and spread it across all three of our eyes. Cold. What the hell, man? What the hell, man? Geo jerked his arm back with a shout. <laughs> Don't see anything. Phil's bracelet is clean. So's mine. That leaves only Dio. Wait, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'll explain in a minute. Just show me your bracelet. Is something wrong? Just show it to me. Come on, Dio, we don't have time for this. Why do I have to do what you tell me to? Because I'm trying to prove your innocence. Oh, like hell you are. I don't know what you're looking for, but you're not gonna find it on me. Then just show me your arm. No! You don't get to order me around, I have rights! As they spoke, Dio made a break for the eggs. Where you think you're going? Get him! I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Dio. 
Dio. I'm afraid I can't get you, Dio. Just... He spun around toward the other exit. Right. Stop him. Right. Don't know what you're talking about, but okay. All three of us leaped at Dio. What do you think you're going, bitch? If you're the killer, we're gonna prove it. I knew it! His bracelet's blown! Then that means... Let me go! Dio's the killer! Get off of me, you fuckers! Dio, you killed no. the old lady? No, you don't understand! This is all some kind of... a mistake! Shit! What do you mean? What's going on here? I think it's about time you gave us the full story. As quickly as I could, I explained to Phil that what Kay and I had noticed on the old woman's wrist. So the person with the bloody bracelet would have to be the person who killed her. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Even if they wiped it off, I think the alumina would still react to the blood. Looks like I was right. We've got you, Dio. You might as well confess. Well? <laughs> Alright, fine. All right, fine. You caught me. You I caught did it. Huh? I killed the old bitch and took her bracelet. Are you what Zero? The hell, Dio? No. I was under orders. I was sent here to. to do. something. What? Who gave you this order? I'll die before I tell you. What? So your orders were more important than Alice and Luna's lives? Whoa, whoa, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I killed the old lady, but that's it. I don't know anything about what happened to Alice and Luna. Huh? Tread carefully, Sigma. This man is not to be trusted. He has already shown he is willing to lie and kill. Come on, I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me. Even if we do believe you, you're still a killer. You just haven't killed as many people. Exactly. He should be restrained somehow. If we leave him be, he may well kill again. But where would we put Is there a room we can lock or anything? Ah, perhaps we could put him in one of the treatment pods. Once we've locked it, he should be unable to escape. Hey, wait! Oh, yeah. Hey, wait. I'll be good, I, I promise. I'll be good, I promise. Yeah, I think you're on. I think you're on to something. Come on, please. Hey, listen to me. I'll let you out when the white doors open. Someone's going to lose the bracelets. Don't fuck with me, you guys. There's no way in hell I'm going in that thing. Let go! Let go! Oh, my God, Dio. Let me go! God damn it! I told you assholes to let me go! You can't do this! Stop! Stop! Who's giving you orders? Please stop! Please! No, you can't! Damn. Open this fucking thing! I said open it, goddammit! I don't think so. We're gonna pay for this! When I get out of here, I'm gonna fucking end you! So somebody's giving you orders. Huh? So I guess we figured out. And we found Quark. Now all that's left to do is find Clover and tend the OG. Why don't we head back to the warehouse and start from there? Oh, they may have already there. returned. Let's go. Let's go. <coughs> Watch out, yeah. I need you for the white door.
they went to look for us. How much time until the white doors open? Then I don't think we really need to hurry yet. Why don't we wait a little longer? For all we know, they're on their way back right now. By the way, by the way, there was something I wanted to ask you guys about. Yeah. Oh yeah. Quark's bracelet. When we found him in the pod, he wasn't wearing it. Why? Why? Presumably, it had been taken off before we found him. So we have no idea where it is. I see. That's not good. Without that bracelet, we won't be able to continue the game. We need three bracelets to open the secondary door. If we lose one... Quark's bracelet should be a red solo. That would mean he'd be with the Cyan pair. Clover and Tenmyoji? The two people who are missing. Quark's bracelet is gone, and his two teammates have disappeared. Well, if they found Quark before you did, yeah, there's a good chance they did. Perhaps they've already gone through the white door. Perhaps someone opened one of them. I don't know. But it's happened before. Remember the three doors on the other side of the green door? Someone made one of them open. Perhaps this is the same thing. Yes, I know. But if the person opening the doors is Zero Senior, do you really think the rules matter? Zero Senior controls the entire game. So are you saying Clover or Tenmyoji is Zero Senior? It is a possibility. It would explain why they still haven't shown up. Could they really have taken Quark's bracelet and gone through one of the white doors? So I would assume. Yeah, what if yours? This is still all just speculation. Maybe we should go look for them again? One of us can stay behind, so then we don't miss them. Okay. I'll stay. Sigma and I will go see if we can find them then. Make sure you get back five minutes before the door opens, all right? Oh, and don't forget to bring Dio with you. Of course! <laughs> <laughs> Tell me they're gonna be dead. So it would appear. So it would appear. I don't think I've been in the pantry yet. Yeah. I guess I'll be there once I team up with them. Well, looks like they're not here. When we started looking for Quark, they were sent off to search everything beyond the red door. Which would have meant this room. How did they go? Not gonna do us any good to hang out here. Very well. Let's head upstairs. Well. Fucking K, you did a good job capturing Dio. It's like fucking Dio killed the old woman. Okay. And he's 
not a good thing. It can't be. It's impossible! Can't happen. It can't. This guy so much I thought we might find him here drinking some. Around that time that I noticed Kay was acting strangely. Is he the killer? No, he can't be. He could be. Kay could be zero. Hey, what's up? Oh, you want a drink? No. Well, I would enjoy a drink, but this mask. Alright. Sorry, that sucks. Honestly, I got so used to this. I kind of forgot you were wearing it. Why the heck did they make you wear that thing anyway? You still don't remember anything. You could be lying well, about that too. Actually, actually, I. I did remember, I did remember a, little. a little. Yes. Really? Yes. What did you remember? My father. My father. When did you remember that? Did it just pop out of nowhere? Please, don't Please, joke. Don't joke. This is serious. This is serious. Oh. Sorry. So you remember who your father was? Yes. Yes. What about your I... mom? Don't seem to have don't one. Seem to have one. I, I. Oh. So your dad well. raised you? Well. Kay stopped for a moment, then calmly folded his hands in front of him. I was raised in the facility where my father worked. He was the only person who worked there, which meant he was the only person I saw until I was older. That had been the situation for as long as I could remember though, so I never thought it odd. Wait, are you actually a robot? Well, Luna thought I was the robot. That was telling me something. He's the, uh, the actual robot. It probably isn't a suit. Probably really is who he is. He wouldn't allow me to go near him while he was working. But the only times he wasn't working were the times when he was sleeping. As such, the only communication I had was the education software he'd given me. I suppose I was a fairly expressionist child then. We developed body language to communicate with us. With no one else to communicate with, I suppose it makes sense. <laughs> Once I learned to read and write, I began to realize that my situation was not normal. Many of my books mentioned a mother as part of a family and in several, the mother, father, and children would eat meals together and talk to one another. Soon I found myself longing for a mother of my own. Someone ah uh, who would always be with me, who would scold me if I did something wrong at night. They would read to me before bedtime if only I had a mother like that. I thought I would be so happy. So for the first time in my life, I asked my father for something. He had finished working and as usual was making his way toward his bedroom when I stopped him and asked for a mother. He looked at me silently for a long moment before finally responding. Okay. I remember to this day how happy I was at that moment. <coughs> a few months later he called me into his laboratory. 
It was the first time he'd ever done anything like that. My heart was beating quickly as I stepped inside. Standing next to him was a young woman, and my hopes soared. But when he said her name, or rather her ID number, they were dashed. He had given me a robot to play, the part of a mother. I didn't want a mother that was just a machine who did what a human told her to. When I told my father that, he looked surprised for the first time in my life. Then he frowned, coughed, and admonished me for being a whiner. He'd never scolded me for anything before. At first I was surprised, then angry. Hot tears stemmed down my face. My father ordered the robot to take care of me and soared us out of his lab. The robot was very convincing and she smiled and spoke as if she was a real person. But I refused to answer her and locked myself in my room. talk to a robot and it will respond but in the end you're still talking to a machine not a person if that was what I'd wanted I'd still have had the education software my father had given me when I ignored the robot as I tried to take care of me it looked sad it couldn't really be sad, of course. It was only programmed to look that way. A robot's facade of sadness didn't mean anything to me. After that, I stopped expecting anything from my father. We'd never really spoken to begin with, so it was easy enough for me to make sure we had a scene. lived my life as if he didn't even exist. Perhaps it seems strange to you that I continue to live with him. But I never really considered him. Perhaps in the hidden depths of my heart, I longed for a relationship with my father. Everything changed! find a woman standing outside my team. She was the first human I've ever seen apart from my father, and I was understanding the surprise. For a moment, I thought my father had created a new robot, but when I told her that, she laughed and explained that she had come to help him. As it turned out, she was a very mysterious person. She was much older than I was, but something about the way she behaved was almost girlish. She would tell me stories about the world outside, such a way that I was never sure if she was telling the truth or making up fantastic lies. Ultimately, though, the truth didn't matter. I loved her stories. She wasn't helping my father directly with his research, so I spent most of my days with her. Before long, I discovered she'd known my father when he was young. She told me stories of how he'd fallen in love with a younger man, and I began to imagine that the person <laughs> excuse me, he'd fallen in love with had been her, and that she was in fact secretly my mother. After she settled in with us, her long established routine began to change drastically. First we started to eat together, before then I had never shared a meal 
with anyone in 18 years. She scolded me for my table manners, or more accurately, the lack thereof. If I was going to eat with others, she said, I would need to be more polite. Eaten alone for my entire life, manners had never been something I even thought about. My father got in trouble too when he made the mistake of reading through research papers during dinner. The look of surprise and embarrassment on his face made me burst into laughter. <laughs> I couldn't remember the last time I'd shared a laugh with my father. It might have been the first time. The room we considered our living room changed to. Before it had just been another room, but she made it comfortable. After we finished our dinner, I would sit on the sofa and relax with her and my father. These times were the ones I cherished the most. For a little while every day, I get the family I belonged for ever since I was a child. At her suggestion, I started to help with my father's research. He specialized in genetic engineering, and I discovered I had an interest in it as well. Time faded away as I lost myself in research. Hmm. Now that we were working and studying together, my father and I had a great deal to talk about. For the first time in my life, we began to speak with him. Whenever I am in, in, imposed in on something, I'd learned, I felt a surge of happiness, and it drove me to study and My days felt full of light and meaningful, but most importantly, I was happy. Hmm. Four years passed in the blink of an eye until one day, I happened to overhear my father and a woman speaking in the laboratory. Their tone was serious, so I listened closely, curious to know what they were talking about. That was when I overheard her say that she planned to give her life to achieve their goals. It was clear that she wasn't being Metro horror, Metro football. Game. She would have to die. I was in shock. The research I had thrown myself into would lead to her death. I asked my father to stop his research immediately. He refused to listen. So she agreed with him. She told me that she had been prepared for what she had to do since the day she came to our facility. <coughs> My father had known about it from the beginning as well. Anger and disappointment, I began to investigate what exactly the research I had been helping with was working toward. Perhaps I thought I could figure out a way to keep her alive. I discovered much more than I bargained for to begin with. I learned that the ultimate success of my father's research would require a good deal of sacrifice. And I also learned that my own existence was just another part of his project. I had been created to function as my father's spare. If he died during his research, I was intended to continue it in his place. I was furious with my father and with her, and even with the research I poured myself into for four years.
there was only one thing to do. Destroy the facility and end my father's horrible research once and for all. I made plans to destroy the main reactor and with it, the entire facility. But she saw right through me. My father was livid and looked, locked me in the room until his research was complete. All I could think of was how I might stop him. She did her best to convince me that I had misunderstood, that everything would be fine. As much as I wanted to believe her, I remembered in the back of my mind that she had been the one who pushed me to become involved in my father's research. Had that been an earnest desire to give me something to do with my life? Still, I couldn't bring myself to hate her. She had given me a reason to live. Even if she had conspired with my father to mold me into his replacement, the warmth she had shown me, she made me feel as if I had a real family, and that was something I wouldn't have given up for the world. I pleaded with her to leave, but she quietly shook her head. There was someone very special to her. She told me he had saved her life once, and she felt her death would help her to repay the favor. <sighs> she would have liked nothing more than to marry him and live a happy, normal life together. But she couldn't. For his sake, she said, and for the sake of the future, she had wanted. She was determined to see my father's research succeed. I realized then that although she was the most important person in my life, there was someone more important to me than her. She tried to explain that beyond what we could see was a future where no one would have to die, but I refused to listen. What good was potential future to me? It was what I had now and that I wanted. I couldn't stand to think that she would have given her life for a man I've never even seen. So I shut myself off from the world. Perhaps that is why I lost my memory. Okay. Okay, let out a deep time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I lost, I lost track of time. Oh my god, that was a lot. Not having okay. any memories is less than desirable. But it could be argued that regaining them is almost more taxing. Oh my god. So you remember almost everything. No, the details are still indistinct. Especially more recent events. Huh? Um Sigma, I'm sorry, but would it be alright if I laid down for a bit? I don't feel very well. It must be because I remembered so much so quickly. My head feels like it's going to explode. Yes. Are you okay? I think I just need to rest. Okay. Take as long as you need. I'll go look for Clover and Chinoya myself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Kay lowered himself heavily onto the red sofa in the corner of the room. Are you sure it's okay to leave him alone while he's like this? Well, I guess I'd better get moving then. What if somebody kills him while he's in his sleep mode? I think that's not good. I stepped out of the room and nearly ran into fear. 
What are you doing? You're supposed to be way back in the warehouse. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, know. I just decided to go I check on you guys. On you guys. I waited a long time and nobody, long showed time and nobody showed up. Judging by your face, by your face. you haven't found them either. Found them either. Damn. Damn. Where's Kay? Where's Kay? You decided to split up? Well, not quite. Instead of waiting for my answer, she opened the door to the lounge and walked in. Don't tell me he's dead. I was just gone for a second. What's up with him? I guess he's not feeling too well. He said he wanted to rest for a bit. Is he alright? Is he alright? I think so. should leave him alone right now, though. Remember, there's a real person inside that suit. I'm sure he's just tired. Tired, huh? Tired, huh? How are you feeling? How are you feeling? I feel tired just yep. looking at you. Your face is like a weak old sock. A weak old sock? <laughs> well, I guess I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little exhausted. I mean, all of a sudden, I wake up trapped in some weird ass game and then dead bodies start turning up. Honestly, I'm amazed I managed to hold on to my sanity for this long. Just about everything here makes absolutely zero sense. The more I try to figure out anything out, the more I feel like my brain is just gonna melt and run out my ears. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> we managed to figure out who the killer was. There's still a hundred other questions we have no idea about. <sighs> Where the hell are we? Why are we even here? What's this whole notary game thing for? And what is Zero C up to? Uh, the rabbit said he was one of us, but who knows? Who knows? Right, Fido. Said he was ordered to do it. Um, and there's more. To it. What about the old man? What's hurt? Now, what are any of our deals? I don't know jack shit about anybody here. I don't even know anything about you. Are you, are you serious? You can't honestly suspect me, can you? No, that's I'm just not like it. you. I'm just like you. I was kidnapped on December 25th and brought here too. She trailed off. Is that a gun? You heard that, yeah. right? Yeah. Came from the hallway. Is that a gun? Let's go have a look. You don't get out. Did Cork get out? There's nobody here. There's nobody here. Maybe they got on the elevator. Let's try hitting the button. Let's try hitting the button. If the door doesn't open immediately, then we'll know the elevator's downstairs. Let's go. 
Let's just head for the green door. Because the treatment center's there. That's where Dio and Quark are. You aren't worried? I just want to make sure they're safe. They're fine. Jim and her cover probably made that noise. Well, maybe both of them. But I don't think they're hurt. Quark or Dio. Are you sure? Dio admitted to killing the old woman, but he still insists that he didn't kill Alice or Luna. What if he's telling the truth? Uh, are you serious? You gonna believe him? Doesn't matter. Just want to know if they're safe. No harm in being careful. All right, fine. To the treatment center. We headed to the first pod. I cracked open the top and lifted it back. There was Quark, sound asleep. Yeah, I guess you're right. I was probably getting worried for nothing. How about Dio? How about Dio? Let's open him. He's not in there anymore. Huh? What the fuck happened? Check his pulse! What the hell? It was pointless to check his pulse. He was obviously dead. But I did it anyways. So that noise was Dio dead as fuck. So he's not the killer. Look, yeah, he's dead. the oxygen level for his pod says zero percent. Somebody took his oxygen off. Someone must have tampered with the pod and lowered the oxygen levels. Who? Look, we should go tell Kay about this. It can't be. Come on, let's go. The only two that are missing right now. Over and the old man. I went to need a follow. Turned and ran off. I took a deep breath and followed. Oh my god! Okay, wake up. Something's happened. When he didn't move, I grabbed him by the shoulders and shook. What is it? Dio's fucking dead, man. Explain how we found Dio dead and how it looked like he died of as asphyxiation. Asphyxiation. It appeared that someone had reduced the oxygen levels caused the suicide. Because that's why I didn't want to go in but there. Why? I thought that Dio was the one who killed the old woman, Alice and Luna. Then who killed him if he was the murderer? He was the murderer. <laughs> the only people who could have done it are Clover and There's also Quark. <laughs> what? No, that's impossible. Are you suggesting that Quark Dio and then went back to sleep? No, That's I'm just saying that strictly speaking, it's a possibility. It's a possibility. So, just, so just, you know, yeah. take it into consideration. Well, in that case, Phi, I hate to say it, but doesn't that mean that you could have done it? Me? Yes. You could have done it any time after Sigma and I left the 4B warehouse. Don't give me that. I was waiting for Clover and Tim Yoji to show up. They never did, though, so I got impatient and went to find you guys. Then I bumped into Sigma in front of the lounge. Yeah. She 
went on to explain about the sound we heard. Oh. I see. So you heard something. Then perhaps it is likely that Clover and Tenryoji were at fault. Were the two of you together the whole time you were investigating? Yes, we were. You never split up or anything. Never split up anything. Hmm. Yeah, we never split up at all. In any event, we don't have a great deal of time to discuss it. Oh, We've only got seven minutes until the primary door is open. All right. Let's get back to the Floor B warehouse. Maybe Clover and Tenmyoji are already there. Oh, but where is it? Huh? You didn't take it? Dio was a green solo. Phi and I are the magenta pair. Shit. You're right. Without Dio's bracelet, we won't be able to open the secondary door. I fear not. And we need to hurry. We'll drop by the tree and so we'll be back and grab the bracelet. All three of us don't need to go. You two go on ahead. I'll get the bracelet. Alright. Oh, one other thing. I need to give you these. The yellow pair bracelets? Were those Alice and Lois? Yes. Without these, you would be stuck. So, here you are. Please, take them. I grab the bracelets and then shove them into my pockets. Alright, let's get going. Alright, let's get going. Shit. Maybe they They're did go through the door, the like Kay said. Door, like Kay said. With quirks or, and bracelets? Or, or what? They're dead? Oh, come on, man. You better not give me that maybe they're already dead crap. I got enough of it from Dio. Got enough of it from Dio. Fucking, oh, maybe they're already dead, huh? Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding me. This isn't funny, Phil. If you're right, then you, Kay, Quirk, and I are the only people still alive in here. Hey, lay off. Hey, lay off. I want to believe they're alive, I too. They're alive too. But, but. We heard a noise and turned. I apologize for keeping you. Did you get Dia's bracelet? Oh bracelet? Well, <laughs> technically, yes, but... Huh? Best you just see it. This is what I found in Dio's pod. What? I assume whoever murdered Dio did this. I can't say for sure, but if I were to guess... Chromatic doors have opened. Fuck you. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. With a bracelet like this, I doubt we can get past the secondary door. That means Kay and I... Kay and I... Well... Shit. You... When the time comes, those three doors will automatically close. Side up, they'll be penalized. No. I see. That's what they wanted. Whoever killed Dio wanted to use the game to kill me and Kay. That's why they broke the bracelet. I think so. It makes the most sense. How can you be so calm? Five minutes, you're gonna be. Go on ahead, Sigma. You have those bracelets Kay gave you, right? You should be able to get through the secondary door with those. So just... So just... Fuck that. You know, I can't just ditch you guys like that. But if you stay here, you'll... You, stay here, you'll... you think I don't know that? But what kind of a monster am I if I just leave you here to die? God damn it. 
damn it. This was bad. What was I gonna do? I needed to calm down. Just calm down. Calm down and think. There had to be a way to save them. There had. What's oh, a dead end right here? What a dead end! Oof, oof. Wait, what's this? Oh, I never did this? Oh, yeah! I understand the timeline where she died. I see a timeline where we betray her. Two minutes remain until Ambitex game polling closes. What are you going to do? I mean, how are you going to vote? No question. Of course, I think so too. I'm just glad to hear you say it. Let's see what happens, guys. Sigma, what's wrong with your hand? There's something. There's something. Oh no! <laughs> Are you all right? Are you all right? What is that white stuff? Really? Really? But. but. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed. Thank you, Ambidex. See what happens. Um, I'm going to the infirmary. No, okay. I guess she don't like me anymore. Don't you want to see the results? Why? I already know what they're going to be.
So if we choose Betrayer, she's like, oh no. <laughs> Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Oh, I have nine points. Good fuck. What the hell? Sigma has nine BP? See? I told you! The bastard's finally showing his true colors. What the hell are you doing? Clover isn't even voting! I have misjudged you. I never thought you would do something so cowardly. Says you. I'm dying my hand to the butt. Then the nightmare would be over. White blood was insane, impossible. Too late. They move toward me like wolves closing in for the kill. S Sigma? Sigma? What was that? He was cut. He was it cut. must have been blood. It must have been but blood. Why was it white? Why was it white? Isn't that obvious? Isn't that obvious? It's not human. It's not human. Not human. Not human. <laughs> No, what are you saying? Of course I'm human. Then explain that white explain stuff. That white stuff. <laughs> I swear to God, I have no idea what it is. I'm afraid you're not being very convincing. Very convincing. Oh, you want to talk? I mean, are you a robot you? No. That seems extremely unlikely. However bad my amnesia might be, I am quite sure of my humanity. I am, without a doubt, not a robot. Alright, it's pretty obvious this guy's dangerous and probably unhinged. We should take him down. I agree. What do you mean, take him down? <sighs> Looks like there's no other way. Now that he's got 9 BP from stabbing Clover in the back, there's a good chance he'll try and get out of here by himself. No! I don't think so! I don't think so! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> so, there's a conspiracy to turn your blood white? You're a funny guy. Stop trying to get away. It's over. If you won't calm down, then you leave me no choice. I'd hoped we could avoid this. Try not to struggle too much.
Where is everyone? It was an empty, except for me. Even Quirk and Alice had just. What the hell's going on? That was when I noticed it. Two other very important things and we're also here. My bracelet in my left hand. Well, no, when I just stared, uh, I'm straight. They cut your hand off? They couldn't. Why would they do that? I think one liquid <laughs> drop. What is this? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Nobody's there. Game over. Take it back. Hey. Huh. Well, that's a dead end. All right. Dead end right here. Beach ready. Yeah, there's a whole another route. To take right here. Beach ready route. And I got this route. <laughs> this is the end. Game over. Go through the red door. <laughs> Go through the red door with. I could have went through the other one, but I
No. No. Kay, I cannot you allow no. you to do that. God damn it, Kay. Choose a different door. Please. He stood right in front of the red door. Solid and unmovable in his control. I didn't think I could force my way past him. And I know I didn't have the time to try. Shit. So I chose that and he's like, no. There are two doors left for me to choose from. But which one? Go to the blue door with K. Wow. Why didn't he want me to go? Right. Right. I'm coming. I'm coming. They both took off. I'm going to fall behind it run. Two. One. Zero. Chromatic doors closing. Closing. All three doors seem to be locked. That's unfortunate. It looks like the device next to the number 9 door. Why don't you try pulling the lever? It opened. You're probably just overthinking it. That door opened. That means we're going through it. Bring it on. Don't go soft on me now. I'll leave you behind. Come on, Sigma. Let's go. You don't like it soft. <laughs> oh, we're in here. It is kind of confusing, it is kind isn't of confusing, it? Isn't what is it for? What is it for? Well, I think it looks like some sort of work room. If you say so. If you say so. We should split up and search we it. Search we need to find um key cards with moon symbols on them, right? Yes. yes. They should be somewhere in this room. Robot man. Look at this guy. Maybe it's an What? Well, any way you look at it, it's a robot. And maybe it's a robot. You know, maybe about it. I can't imagine it's a robot. That's insane. Well, what do you think it is? Just a real man. Mannequin. Radio. I don't think it's going to die. 
there's an electricity <laughs> stuff in this actually. So it's saying it needs a power cable. <laughs> I'm uh, appearing offline, so if you want to join the party, please tell me. Boop. I don't know why I did, did that please for so long. Please tell me. <laughs> I didn't it could be that long. Sorry about that. <laughs> Hey, that's a good one. Hey, please. Oh, man. No, it's thinking that you come by me today. No, don't put me to get me out in the road. I am. Do as I say. No, why? Why? Oh, it's fucked. You're smacking the face. Don't. He's trying to be boxy here. No, I'm not worried. He's gonna butter me every fucking day. When I'm busy working, he's gonna come and bother me. I don't give a fuck. He's not working. Yeah. Fuck, he's buttering me all fucking day. I go butter you.
Guys, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
Oh. What the, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, most of the bones are boring and just incomprehensible. But this one speaks to me. What does it say? Come on, a big red button on a plate with black and yellow stripes. It, it couldn't scream, don't press me any louder if it said. 
If it's said, don't press me. Is it a self-destruct button? Maybe the moment we press it, we get a soft kiss, and then the room will start to fill up the blood and the gas. What if it launches a missile? I don't know what it's going to Yeah. Luna! What are you doing? It's okay. There's no way anything really gets into right out here. She's like, yeah. I'm pretty sure this is your senior and wants us to play through this game. It wouldn't make too much sense to just kill us in one of these rooms. Maybe, but that's just your opinion. You could be wrong. Well, I guess so. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down, nothing happened, so there's nothing to get mad about, alright? You heard that noise though, right? Like something's trying to start up. The computer! I guess this is good. Where's the computer? I'd imagine it's built as the monitor. Hmm. It's kind of hard to see what it's like. But there's a simple cable Is it a power cable? I think so. Then maybe we can come up with a simple cable. Have you seen anything like that? A signal? Wait, you're holding it right now. Hurry up and plug it in! <laughs> I think we can do something. I guess it's nice that we plug this radio in. But what do we do with it now? Why don't you try it turning it? What? We need to adjust it so it's picking up a specific frequency. Maybe we will hear, we hear something. Exactly. Exactly, if we get really lucky. That noise. Look, the monitor. I reacted to the noise when the radio turned on. So it's some kind of voice like the mission system. It looks like that way, yes. There's something on the screen. This is I think we're looking on the screen. We found an image of the green layout. We review it in the book.
Is this a binder? A single piece of paper in here. Oh, it's like a list. You found a frequency list. A dog just killed him. Would you like me to put it on? Huh? Why? I just thought you might be into that kind of thing. Whoa, 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 what? I don't know what you're talking about. See? A bullseye. Look at you all bashful. You're gonna be cute when you're embarrassed. <laughs> There's a white jacket in here. It doesn't seem very suspicious to me. There's a white jacket in here. It looks like there's something wrong. Carol. Okay, must belong to Mr. Harold. There's also someone on the back of it. Ninte! Oh, oh my god! Oh look, there's someone in the pocket. Hmm. And you got yourself. I do you I do What's this? The shape like a star. Maybe you need to put something in something that's shaped like a star. So. Why am I the star shaped block? Yeah. The same shape as Maybe it's not the right size. I guess it looks like it's a lot of noise. That's a battery. Thin ones like that are usually used for notebooks. That's okay. I've got that big one stored up here. Idea. Go on. 
I guess it worked. Yeah, I'm trying to make this shower. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Bottle. Bottle. Silver key. Oh, what's this key for? A silver key? Down from the ceiling. 
those are like an awful lot of work to go to just get a reaction out of it, you know? Yeah, you have a point. It's definitely real robots. I hate it when my nose hurts. It's in my nose, feels the pain. Huh? What was that?
job, Sigma. You're amazing, we're falling for you all over again. Hey, what? Wait, 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 what? How are you just doing this? Three. Three. Sequence complete. Please press the pop button, okay, don't talk. Whoa, 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 what was that? I'm not sure. Better do what it says, though.
Hmm. Well, that robot has a car in his hand. <laughs> of course, it's a battery, Luna. <laughs>
Taking all of this shit. Let me show this. 
How you doing, buddy? I'm still streaming and I finally just escaped the room I was in. You honestly yeah, think a voice that, that coarse could come from a throat as fine as this? Is there a oh, yeah, that was, uh, that was me, mate. Oi! Over here! Over Sigma, here. Look. Sigma, look! Look! What is that? The robot. Is, that? is it the robot? The robot's alive! Oh, blimey, that hurts. Oh, it is. Ain't right for a fellow's back to feel like this. We got an AI in here, boy. <laughs> And it's talking with an accent. What are you gonna bring uh, it with us? Can't help it, Flower. Didn't choose to talk like this. Not by half. Now, Alice, darling, do I rightly recollect you characterizing my speech as coarse? Well, that's right, cruelties. You really think I asked for this? See, they figured they give us all a, uh, a what you call them, a personality. Some tosser thought they'd give me this one. It ain't right, I tell you. <laughs> Cooper. Uh... <laughs> right you are, my old son. Right you are. Well, go on. Have a butchers, mate. What do I look like to you? Robot, you say? Really? Gollum? Oh, I've heard of golems. They're sort of monsters, I guess, from Jewish folklore. They're made from clay, and they look like men. They're supposed to do whatever their master, or creator, or whatever commands them to do. Well, aren't you a clever person? You are, of course, correct. The golem of myth is a clay creation that moves under its own power. Our spellings are my spelling. The original blokes are spelled G-O-L-E-M. But me and me mates are G A U O E M. That's an acronym. <laughs> General Purpose Autonomous Labor Electronic Machine. And the truth to tell, it's a bit rubbish when you write it out like right that. But I figured they wanted to make sure they had the Gollum thing in there, you know? What with us being robots and all. Ah! Hey, Evan. This robot's got an accent. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that don't seem quite kosher. Kosher. Game creating dessert. Yeah, look. After all, all of me mates here are golems too. Golems too. Yeah, I see. I couldn't very well call all of you lot human, could I? What should we call you then? What should we call you then? Well, we've all got a product ID, and they're unique. I figure that's as good a name as any. And your ID is? GTM-CM-G-OLM. 
That's way too long. We can't remember that. What? You taking the mickey out of me? Never had a problem myself. Right then. Let's just use the last one, shall we? D O L M? Golem. <laughs> Well, I'll be buggered. I'll be covered. Can't say I ever noticed that before. Oh, it's always a strange coincidence, isn't it? Isn't it? What? A gentleman can't say something nice to a pretty young bird, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she ain't the only one of you lot whose name I know. I know who you are, Sigma, and you too, Luna. <laughs> I'm right familiar with all nine of you. How? You don't know? Why, well, they got cameras all over this place. Well, then again, the ladies aren't much bigger than a screw. And they're all in the way, so I suppose I can't really blame you for missing them, then. Hmm. Now, okay. as I was saying, I there were these cameras, you see. That means you know who the killers are. And all of the data they record gets sent off to the mainframe in real time. So, I just gave the main core a ring, got those videos, and now I know everything you've done. Does that mean... You're Zero Junior? Cool, blimey! Are you bleeding serious? Oh, you gotta be off your box if you think I'm Young Master Zero! Master. Young Master is a right proper AI what supervises all the electronic bits and bobs in this place. My humble self, and knows what the misfortune to be like me, are more akin to computer terminals who are merely borrowing a little bit of the central core. Uh, no, not quite, Governor, not quite. I'd say me and me mates here are more like uh, arms and legs, right? Now, you lot don't have brains in your arms and legs, do you? Of course not. Right you are, missus. You'd be all sorts of nasty if your elbows and that lumpy bit on your ankle was all packed with brains. Well, we're like your arms or legs. The golem seat of consciousness, so to speak, ain't in the head. In fact, the matter is, it's not anywhere in the body, which makes a fellow wonder, where is it? In the mainframe? Spot on. So that part of me what thinks is in the mainframe. Everything this here body sees and hears and what have you, that all gets sent back there. Then the mainframe does some sort of computery jiggery pokery and comes up with some decisions and, and those decisions beget commands. Now those commands are sent over the wireless like boop 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 and eventually my body picks them up. Finally, those commands cause actions what move the various bits in my body. That's why this thing's like a computer terminal, you see. The body's just an output device of sorts. If we were talking about one of them personal computers here, you could say a golem's kind of like a, uh, a monitor, eh? Huh? Oh, wait a minute. Then wouldn't that make you part of Zero Junior? Oh, I suppose you could say that. What if you're sharing the mainframe at all? <laughs> but I don't know shit all about this game he's running. That part of the mainframe's locked away from the rest of us. I'm an independent core. Uh, Zero and I are two different blokes. You recollect what Gollum stands for, huh? I'm autonomous. <laughs> Uh, you sure, Governor? I watched you cross your arms just now. And now you, you're frowning and your forehead's getting all wrinkly. Do you do these things on purpose? Well, when you cross your arms, were you thinking, Right then, let's cross them, shall we? Curl on down then, mouth. Oh, and eyebrows, I'd be much obliged if you'd squeeze in a bit. There's a good pair of blokes. That's what you was thinking, isn't it? No? <laughs> Didn't reckon so. I figured you did all of that subconsciously. 
Ain't no man on earth who says to himself, feeling a mite nervous, I'll just twitch me leg around a bit, you know? Who's thinking real hard about something and says to themselves, well, I think I'll just give the old loaf a scratch, that'll help. How's about when you reach for your tea? When you turn a page in your book? Or what about when your eyes just go straight for the pair on that bird you fancy? <laughs> Yeah, the list goes on, Charles. But all of those things are your subconscious at work. Well, true, when part of your body does something, it's because your brain said so. But that don't mean your conscious mind is involved. Fact is, it can't be. If your brain had to deal with all the piddly bits of living, it'd make you bore me. That's how us golems and the young master get along. You, um... You got it all sorted now, chums? Then you're saying that Zero Junior is the central part of the mainframe, and the golems are like his hands and feet? Righto! Righto! Blimey, guess I shouldn't be talking about such heavy rubbish, eh? My shoulders are all stiff. <laughs> And you said your back hurt earlier. Back hurt. Are you just messing with us? Yes, I did. Yes, sir, and no, I, I ain't. No, I ain't. <sighs> me back is a right mess, it is. Last maintenance check, they just left me here. I've been on this bed here for years. <sighs> the lubricant for me joints is all gummed up. Every time I move, it hurts. But why did you wake up again after all this time? Why do you think, love? Because you lot turned me on his wife. Especially that other missus over there. Wait, we turned you on? Oh yeah, the button on top of the sink. Right you are, Governor. Can you come with us then? The others need to see this. Oh, no, I can't. It was a pity. I can only go as far as this cable it will let me. I got internal batteries, but they're knackered. As a matter of fact, that's why I was here for maintenance in the first place. Yeah, same goes for these other blokes, too. Of course, they ain't connected to a power cable like I am, so they aren't going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> huh? Well, what question is that? <laughs> I asked you how your shoulders Right, right, so you did. Not sure why you've got a bug up your arse about that particular issue, though. Oh, I mean, I guess Curious, are you? Curious. That's a good word, that is. A good, powerful word. The kind of word that will set any robot's heart to flutter. Let's get you sorted then, shall we? Just lend me your laws and peers for a tick. So. How can it get stiff shoulders? And what does pain mean to a robot? Tell me, Guff, you ever heard of the Chinese room? Uh, no. Somewhere, a pretty young girl is trapped in a tiny room. The door of the room has a slot that a number of Chinese people outside the room can use. Slide slips of paper to the girl. On the pieces of paper are questions written naturally in Chinese. Unfortunately, the young lady has no idea what the questions say. But then how could she? Because she's never learned Chinese apart from a Hong Kong action movie or two in college. She's never even learned it. So far, this unfortunate young lady, each note looks like nothing more than a bunch of strange symbols. Before she was locked away, she was given an order. Ah, oh, fuck. Specifically, she was told to write an appropriate response to each question she received and slip that answer back to the slot. Once the Chinese questions begin to show up, however, she finds herself at a loss.
whatever am I to do? It is at that moment that she spots a bookshelf. The bookshelf is filled with thick books upon examining them. She discovers that there are some sort of Chinese phrase books. They have no explanation of what anything means, but show Chinese responses to Chinese questions. Am I supposed to use these? The questions keep coming. More and more and more and more. She finds a set of characters that conspire to the set of characters on the paper, and carefully writes out the indicated response. How's it going? It's, it's awful. Please get me out of here. Are you hungry? Yes, I am. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. Here, they give her some twice cooked pork. Are you full? Cool? Yes, although I don't think my stomach likes you very much. You call boy. Yes, I'm dating a call out of legal class. When was your first kiss? When I was 14, we were great and I didn't even know it was What color of underwear do you wear? Black. What's the first thing you're going to do when you get a big girl? Beat the stuffing out of whoever sends me a squash up when you put the pen and you cook that twice and put the bacon. All of these questions were really in Chinese, and the answers were also in Chinese. All the young lady did was accurately copy the symbols from the first books onto the slips of paper with no idea what it did. In general, she, she doesn't have a dancer boyfriend. Like that. She's never even kissed the boy. Also, she's wearing white underwear. Anyway. Um, um, yes? Is there any particular reason this girl is, um, pretty? Or, or why we need to know what color underwear she's wearing? Can't say there is. Just tickles me fancy, I guess. But the prettier the bird is, the more fun the story is, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. What? What? Huh? What? Uh... Right. Well, what I wanted to say was this. All them Chinese blokes outside the room didn't know nothing about them books what she had. So it follows that they would have thought whoever was inside spoke Chinese just like them. You see? After all, far as they can tell, they're having a nice little chin way with one of their countrymen. Um, okay, interesting, but what does that have to do with your shoulders? You thick! I feel pain when my body's having a spot of bother. You thick! Well, well done, mate, this ain't right. We keep this up and we're bugging. If things go really pear-shaped, we'll be brown bread. So says the central computer to itself, seeing that things are a bit bollocksed. In the interest of extricating my body from his unpleasant predicament, the mainframe sends out a signal over the wireless. And my software interprets that signal as pain, and I stop doing whatever damn thing I was doing. It's the same, isn't it? Just like the Chinese room. So you're saying the robots feel pain differently than humans, right? Use your loaf, Missy. You listen to a word I've said. A human feels pain when you do something you shouldn't, like sit your bum down on a tap, right? Same thing for us robots. If you feel like being clever about it, there ain't really that much different between a human and a robot. Forget all about that mainframe and signal bollocks, and us golems ain't that different from the bird in the room. So think about it. How do you know humans ain't the same just without all the electronic pony? Huh? What if, when someone asks you a question, all you're doing is pulling out the right answer from some sort of phrase book in your brain? <laughs> ain't no way to prove that, of course, but as far as I can see, there ain't no reason to. I mean, it's all the same, innit? It? If you're actually a thinking creature, or if you're just some kind of language processing machine, all what matters is if the person next to you does what a human ought. Looks like a person, acts like a person, and talks like a person, then it's probably a person. You want to live a normal life? That's all you need to know. Lay it on me, Governor. Ah, right you are, mate. Right you are. Got so carried away, I nearly forgot. I haven't seen anyone for yonks, and I got a mighty excited as well. Just spit it out! Right, right. Well, uh, there was something I wanted to tell you about. What was it? Patience, darling. Now, I know I might look a bit out of sorts at the moment, but I ain't really supposed to. 
Same thing for the rest of the blokes here. Fact is, the reason we look a bit like skeletons is because we are a bit like skeletons. There's this special artificial biological tissue what's called ABT. When a golem's all new and shiny, they've got a nice suit of ABT over that metal skeleton. Makes us look right here, mate, does it? Even feels like real skin, with pores, a little bit of hair, and a few pimples, scars and the like. <laughs> Truth to tell, I doubt you'd be able to tell the real from the fake, even if it was right in front of you. See, right in the middle of Command violation. Command violation? He was about to tell Rogue me. Rogue processes detected. Product ID G T M C M G O L M. Executing emergency deactivation. Uh, he's about to say something he shouldn't have. Unit G T M C M G O L M now inactive. No other rogue processes detected in additional golem platforms. Returning to surveillance mode. Did Zero just shut him down? It looks like it. Looks like it. Damn it. I wonder what he was trying to tell us. To See, right in the middle of... In the middle of... <laughs> right in the middle of what? An ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until ambidex game polling closes. Someone on the other team must have opened it. Sure, we, have we have to hurry! Right, let's go. Why did you open the AB gate before everyone got back? I apologize. We only turned away for a moment. Dio opened it. <laughs> you got a problem with that? Yeah. Of course we do. Remember us all promising we wouldn't open the thing until everyone showed up. Probably both. We were able to get back here in time. But what about the others? And Miyoji Quark and Clover are still out there somewhere. What were you planning to do if they didn't get back in time? Nothing. Why would I have to do anything? Did you hear the voice? Anybody who doesn't get back in time to vote just gets their vote automatically set to ally. Seems pretty straightforward to me. So what if they don't get back in time? They'll all get set to ally and all three of them will get two BP. Sounds like a sweet deal to me. Ten Miyoji's only got one BP. And 
figure he'll be pretty happy to get two more. And that'll put Park and Clover up close to nine. So that's not too bad for them either. In other words, they ought to be thanking me. What the hell, Dio? What? What's this? Here are some more AB game rules for you. Not voting is not an option. If both parties refuse to vote, then every bunny gets penalized. In other words, one person out of every color group of three has to vote. What the hell, man? This wasn't in our room. Back me up here, guys. He's right. There was no such note in our safe. <sighs> oh, well, damn. That's a bummer. I'd never have opened the gate if I'd known about this. Of course. Of course. I'm worried about the others. If time runs out, they'll... They'll be penalized, yes. I know. Quark is part of that team. Maybe something happened with him. It seemed a little off before we head into the chromatic door. This is bad. Hey, wait a minute. Where's Alice? She was here just a minute ago. Yes, address the issue. Yeah, where did she go? She's right there. It took me only a moment to spot her. She was several yards away and kneeling down to look at something on the floor. What she was looking at, I couldn't tell. I was about to head over and see what was going on when... Alice was doing something soft? <laughs> you don't look so good. Quark! Well, hey, Has guys. Quark been here? Has Quark been here? Did something happen no. to him? Did something happen to he him? Disappeared. He disappeared! He disappeared! <laughs> Ooh. I mean, he's gone! I mean, he's we, gone. Can't we can't find him anywhere! When was the last time you saw him? We were heading back here. Uh, Ten Miyoji and I went into the lounge, but Quark didn't follow us. We turned around and started calling for him, but... When he didn't respond, we ran back the way we'd come. And you couldn't find him? Right. We thought maybe he just hadn't seen us go into the lounge. So we checked the crew quarters and the infirmary. But he wasn't there either. All right, we need to split up. If we can't find him in any of the floor A rooms, we'll move to floor B. Okay. I need to go tell Alice. You guys go on ahead. Right, you do that. Uh, I kind of feel worried. What is Alice doing? Hey, work. Work. He's not in the other two either. There's no one here. Right. Okay. Let's leave that to them and head to floor B. Okay. 
here, right? There's a crisis in every fucking timeline. Yeah, so? Yeah, so? What was on the other side of that door? You wanna see it? See it? Uh, yeah, maybe. Fine. Fine. Follow me. Follow me. The pantry. The pantry. That drawer over there is stuffed with processed food. It wasn't half bad, actually. Yeah. You ate it? There was some paella, nasi goreng, schnitzel, UK jung, borscht, and tom kha gai. Oh, and I ate the chef's pasta, too. Can't help it. I'm a growing girl. Twenty, I think. I think. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Just, just stop. I don't even know where to start here. Twenty. By the time you hit twenty, you're done drowning. Two. Now that's funny. You must have done a lot of drugs to look like that at 22. Don't call me little. I'm an adult, you dried up asshole. Wow. Yeah, the use by date is about a hundred years from now. There's a tank over there. It looks like they're pulling it out of some kind of well. Well, since Dio isn't rolling around on the floor in agonizing pain, I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's okay. I guess you could say that. No, I was careful with the food too. Dio had some of it first and seemed fine, so I. Oh, I almost forgot. I ate something else. Twice cooked pork. Oh, for God's sake. Why the hell are you shouting about that? Wait a minute. Twice what is it? Pork? What is it? Well, that just reminded me of something. Reminded you of what? This might seem hard to believe. Yeah. <sighs> Bullshit. Bullshit. Oh, come on. At least let me tell you first. how we found a room called the door there on the other side of the green door and how we met a robot there and then go on we told a very interesting story I see uh, so the golem guy was turned off just when he was about to tell you something so the last thing he said was see you right in the middle of Right in, the middle of right in the middle. Middle could be for Middle Kingdom, which is another name for China. Really? I don't think so. 
Please explain. Well, maybe he was trying to say that this game is like the Chinese room. In other words... Sigma! Fi! There you are! I've been looking all over for you! So Luna doesn't Something die bad! Something really bad! Who died this time? Alice... Alice is... Just come with me. Just come with she's me. in the crew quarters. She's in the crew quarters. So in this timeline, she's dead. She's dead, but Luna survived. My question is, how is she dead? Clover was just with her. No. All I could hear was yours words echoing in my ears. Your heart stops, your bracelet comes off. If you've never been in turbulence, it's hard to explain. You feel the sudden weightlessness of a long fall. Painfully aware of the fact that you are thousands of feet above the earth in a flimsy machine made by a human man, kept aloft by a sound of whisper by nobody else in the other side. You've never seen a friend die, it's hard to explain. down beside Alice. Skin already turned pale. Me. I was looking for Quark on floor B and couldn't find him. So I came back here and... well, you know the rest. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? You better not be thinking I did it. Well, suspicion often falls on the first to discover a crime. Hey, fuck that. She'd already been murdered when I got here. How do you know she was murdered? <laughs> what? Come on, it's obvious. She's got a knife sticking out of her chest. Does that look like an accident or a suicide to you? How do you know the weapon was a knife? What? All you can oh, see from here is the handle. For all you know, it could have been an ice pick or some kind of tool. Well, well yeah, I guess that's true, but... but I mean, come on! Who wouldn't look at that and assume it's a knife? And it's not fair to suspect someone just because they happen to be the first one to find the body. If you want to be like that, then the last person to see Alice is the person you should be looking at. Who was the last person to see her? I need to go tell Alice! You guys go on ahead! Alice, why? This wasn't supposed to happen. You promised me we'd catch them together. Don't do this. I can't trust them anymore. It could have been any one of them. They killed you, Alice. I can't forgive them for that. I'm going to get revenge. I'll find out who killed you. And I'll... 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 Kill them? Shut up! Don't you talk to me! I'm sorry, Alice. Well, she doesn't trust anybody. Wait! Wait. Clover, come back! Clover, come back! It's 
pointless. Even if you caught up to her, she'd never tell you anything. Think it through. There are two possibilities. Either Clover killed her, or she didn't. If the former is true, then I doubt she would confess. If the latter is true, then I imagine she'll be just as reticent. After all, Alice and Clover seem to know each other. In fact, they seem quite close. It seems safe to assume that Clover is currently very suspicious of all of us. I doubt she would open up to anyone right now. You seem pretty calm. Did you do it? Not again. Well, if you really want to suspect me, please, go ahead. I'm beginning to feel rather accustomed to it. I would ask you to consider my motive for killing Alice. Specifically, the fact that I have not. Well, yes, but none of us do. None of us have ever met Alice before, right? So why would we want to kill her? You are correct. But only if the murder had a motive beyond, well, murder. Do you remember when we found the old woman? It seemed clear that her killer was Zero Senior, and that they were one of us. There is every reason to think the same person murdered Alice. Perhaps this person plans to kill us one by one. Perhaps the entire nonary game is just window dressing. Perhaps the only reason we are here is so that Zero Senior can kill us at his leisure, in a world of his own creation. Why would anyone do such a horrible thing? Presumably, because they enjoy killing. Zero Senior seems to be rather... disturbed. No. There's no way Zero Junior would notice that. And if he did notice, I really don't think he'd just let something like that slide. But isn't Zero Junior just an AI without a body? What could he do? Maybe. But Zero Senior has a body. You think they'd really just let a tenth unwanted participant just run around murdering people? Not possible. At least not so long as we assume Zero Junior's statement to be the truth. Do you remember? He made it quite clear that the real Zero was one of us. Minutes remain until Ambidex Game Polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non voting parties will automatically ally. Apparently, Zero doesn't feel like this is worth stopping the game for. A blunt but effective way to make the point. We should get to the warehouse. It seems clear he feels no compunction about killing us, should we disobey the rules. As such, I recommend we follow them.
Hey, look. Two of the AV gates are closed already. Probably ten Miyoji and Clover. Wasn't he a pair? Doesn't Quark need to go with him? As long as one person in each pair is there, it should be okay. Sharing their destiny, huh? Pretty much. That's good news for you, Sigma. After all, you're a pair, but your partner is... Well, I'd rather not say it. Good luck for you, huh, Luna? What? I don't understand what you mean. Well, if Alice was still alive, you'd have a hard time choosing Betray. She only had one BP left. If you'd picked Betray, you could have killed her. Of course, that's not really a problem now. Stop that, Dio. I would have chosen ally regardless. I mean, Sigma's going to be my opponent. And I... I trust him. Now this is interesting. One of you guys picks Betray, you're gonna get a show. Dio! Dio! We ignore him. How do you and Fi plan to vote? You even gotta ask? Ally. Of course. Right, Fi? I don't know about that. It's a difficult question. What? Well, if we choose Ally and Kay chooses the opposite, then he'll have nine points. He can go through the number 9 door whenever he wants. But it's not as simple as just choosing Betray either. If Kay decides to ally for some reason, then you'd end up with 9 points. So we should both choose ally. Seems easy to me. You're planning on betraying me, aren't you, Dio? As soon as you go through that door, it will be only the two of you in that room. I've no doubt you could overpower Fi, if you had the desire to. Give me a little credit. No one has more gentle points than me. You think someone of my stature would resort to violence? <laughs> the nerve. Um, what? This is just a thought, but why don't all of you promise to choose Betray? Then you wouldn't have to worry about anything. If you knew the other person was going to betray you, you'd have no choice but to do the same. That seems pretty negative for you, Luna. I'm sorry. Nothing to apologize for. We appreciate your suggestion and we'll take it into consideration. But unfortunately, I don't think it's a very good idea. See, my goal is to beat this game. But fine. Maybe that wasn't the best way to put it. When I say I want to beat it, I mean defeat it. Completely. I want to get us all out of here. We haven't beat the Nonary game until we're all out of this place. I guess we won't all be getting out anymore, though. Oh, you mean Alice? Yeah. Yeah. At any rate, all of us choosing betray every time is hardly ideal. We'd never escape. We'd never escape. Hmm. Kay needs to choose ally. It's the only way. How will you make sure I do that? I have no guarantee that you'll choose ally as well. Would you do it if I could give you that guarantee? Well, yes, I suppose so. You promise? Yes. Good. Let's do this. Dio! Huh? There's someone behind you. What? What? The moment Dio turned his head, fear was like, Dio, there's someone behind you. With some of these superhuman strength, she leaped through the air across the room. And through the AB gate. Huh? What the fuck? What the fuck? You, bitch! you bitch! God damn it, fight! God damn it, fight! Open this fucking Open door! This fucking door! Get fucked. Hey, you ain't escaping, Dio. Fuck! Gave the door one last slam for good measure. Then ran to the next open one. Evad pair detected. Huh? Please retry with valid partner. Members of a pair cannot vote in separate rooms. What? Why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? 
This is against the rules. How am I supposed to vote? This is bullshit. Bullshit. Dio will have nine points. But don't you think Vi might be worried that Kay will break his promise? After all, if he can be pretty sure that Vi is going to choose Ally. Yeah, he broke. You needn't worry. Her plan is very clever. I will definitely choose Ally. Two minutes remain until polling closes. We don't have much time left. Let's go. Okay. Um, Sigma? Sigma? You... You are going to choose Ally, right? Yeah. Actually, I want to see the bad end. to choose ally. Do I? Yeah, I'll do it. Uh, oh my god. 30 seconds remain until polling closes. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Points have been assigned, been assigned or subtracted, subtracted accordingly. accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Thank you, Sigma. Thank you, Sigma. <laughs> no need to thank me. nothing. I also just did what I promised to do. Now we both have 7 BP. This is the home stretch. Yeah, it is. 
because I'll choose ally? Yeah. If we were partners, you could pick whatever you wanted then, couldn't you? I mean, you'd get nine points either way. You're right. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, it's just there's a part of me that just can't feel genuinely happy about that. Oh, yes. We still haven't found the portal. Why did you do that? Why did you tell me all that stuff for? Were you just lying? No. Everything I told you was the truth. You have to trust me. I did! Look where it got me! How could you do that? You're such a jerk! How could I betray you after that? And then you... 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you zero? What? No, of course I'm not zero. Then how could you know all that? Where did you find out about that stuff? I told you, I told you. Don't lie to me! I'm not lying. Forget it. It was stupid to trust you. I mean, there's no way. Clover, this isn't about me. I... I made a mistake. I got someone involved on all this when I shouldn't have. I... You mean Quark? Yeah. Yeah. You did this to get Quark's BP up to nine? Yes. But you've only got four points. I'm not important. The only thing that matters is that Quark gets out of this nightmare. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to look for Quark. Hey, wait! Hey, wait! What just happened? What just happened? I thought Clover had said she didn't Clover trust any of us anymore. Trust any of us anymore. Hmm? Yeah, I know, but then she chooses ally. Must have said something to her before the last round. Can, can, can you choose ally too? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Phi put herself in a situation where choosing Betray would be unwise. If she had chosen Betray, Dio would have 9 BP now. I concluded that her desire to avoid that outcome would be stronger than her desire to protect herself with Betray. And so, I voted accordingly. That was her guarantee? Yes. Yes. It's because you promised, right? <laughs> yes, that too, I suppose. You liar. Yes. What was it? It's difficult to explain. I suppose you could say I felt a connection. Well, when we were investigating the pantry together, I felt that Phi was somehow similar to me. Something in me said, don't betray her. You could call it intuition, I suppose. Cut it out. Gut feelings are bullshit. Phi. Besides, you don't get to have a connection with me unless I give you permission. And I don't remember doing that. You're acting like we're pals or something. Kind of skeeves me out, to be honest. And now you gotta get him shit for it. <laughs> you 
chose Ally too. Didn't you do that because you trusted him? Not exactly. I just made him trust me. When we were in the pantry, I stuffed my face like an idiot. That got him to lower his guard. What? What are you getting at? Oh, come on. come on. How am I supposed to feel a connection for a guy whose face I haven't even seen? Shut up. Shut up. Um, if we could uh, change the subject, where did Dio go? He must have been here for the results. Oh, I saw him leave. He checked the results and then left through the yellow door. The Ambidex gates have closed. Round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star keys are required to open the gates. There is no set limit on usage of the star keys. The Ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. As long as you have the star keys, you can play the AB game as many times as you want. You probably won't be allowed to play it continuously, however. There's a period of time between when the doors open and when the polling ends. Based on the last two rounds, I think it's about 45 minutes long. <laughs> oh, that's right. Remember what Zero Junior said? As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically! <laughs> the pair and solo assignments hop around a bit too! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, so this is gonna be a dead end here. Me too. Looks like we're pairing up again. Better than getting stuck with Dio, I guess. I'm a yellow pair. What about you, Luna? I'm a solo, but I'm green. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. Well, we need to check the other bracelets before we make any decisions. That means Dio, Tenmyoji, and Claw. We'll need to check Alice's bracelet too. Anyone could just pick it up now. I will try and find the remaining people and their bracelets. Quark will be my first priority. I'll come with you. Very well. I'll go check on Alice's bracelet then. And don't forget to... um... Retrieve it. We'll likely need it to get through the chromatic doors. 
Right. right. Sigma, can you come with me? Sigma, can you come with me? Huh? Well, okay. Let's go. I'm going to have to see her again. Shouldn't we decide on a time to meet up? Just in case? Just in case. Let's see. This when do the doors open? Just, last time I went with K. This time I'm going with her. We've still got quite a while. An hour and 21 minutes. Then let's take half of that. What do you say we all meet back here in 40 minutes? Maybe. 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 You're not one to talk. One to I didn't talk. see you stopping her. You stopping her. A gut feeling, huh? A gut feeling, huh? Sure, you're not the you one who's feeling a connection to our armored, armored friend. I mean. All that plating is pretty flattering to his figure. Are you sure? Have you considered that it might be Luna? Why not? Didn't need a knife. When we played the last round, Alice is beat. All she would have had to do was convince us to go down there, and she could have killed Alice easily. She would have just had to pick Betray. But if she'd done that, do you really think the rest of us would have let her get away with it? We'd probably have tied her up or locked her away or something. Besides, there's no way in hell Alice would have chosen Ally. The only way to get an ally vote from your pair would have been to physically overpower Alice. Or trick her like I did with Dio. No, I'm not. I'm just saying the possibility exists. Even if she was, I don't think we'd need to worry about Kay's safety. He's got a full suit of armor. I'm betting he's pretty hard to kill with all that on. Alright, I think that's enough of that. Let's go check Alice's bracelet. Okay. Well, my question is, how come when you choose Betray, it's longer? The ally... Clover? Hey, hey, come on, don't run away. Run away? Run away. Well, it sure looked like you were trying to get away from us. I wasn't running away, wasn't though. Running away. I, just I just don't want to talk to you. Don't want to talk to you. Isn't that pretty much the same? Okay. Run away as they want to do you when they can. I don't need to. Don't need to. Why not? Why I not? already figured out who did it. Huh? I can't tell you. You might be working with them. Both of you could be in on it. Huh? Oh, come on, of course we're not. Forget about it. There's no point. It doesn't matter what you tell her, she's never going to believe you. Just tell us one thing, Clover. How did you know who it was? I noticed something. And what was that? Alice figured it out too. Before she... What was it? Why don't you figure that out yourselves? Anyway, I gotta go. Slow down. Alice knew? What's wrong? What's wrong? Because that Clover will call her 
a bracelet is now. Oh. oh. Really? That's it? Really? That's Calm it. down. Calm down. She's a cyan She's pear. A cyan pear. <laughs> Yeah, snuck yeah. a peek at it when she, ran by. when she ran by. And it looks like Alice's, looks like is, Alice's a is a blue solo. blue solo. She reached down and casually picked Alice's bracelet up off the floor. I'll hold on to this. I'll hold on to this. <laughs> yeah, good idea. I wonder what it was that Clover noticed. You mean what Alice mean noticed? What Alice noticed. Were you even listening? You even listening? Fine, what did Alice notice? <sighs> what are you doing? I'm investigating. I'm investigating. What does it look like I'm investigating? Look like I'm investigating. Looking for any clues to Looking what she figured out before she, figured out before she died. Huh. huh. Found something already. Found something already. Have, a look. Have a look. Held something out. It was a handkerchief. Stained reddish brown. Is that blood? Looks like it. Looks like it's it. darker than Alice's. Darker than Alice's. So it's probably been on her since before she died. Before she died. It's not hers. Whose blood is it? Maybe. Maybe. You think Alice? Who knows? Who knows? She could have just found this somewhere for all we know. I can't say for sure, but it's definitely a possibility. So, time we moved on. We need to figure out what Tenmyoji and Dia's bracelets have changed to. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. Doesn't sound good to you? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so this is where Tenmyoji's team went. How many times do I have to tell you? You don't need to keep asking permission. Well, you didn't tell me in this timeline, did you? Sign of him, huh? Sign of him, happy? happy? I'm asking if you're happy, or it's still missing. No, of course not. Why would I be? And then does it hurt? Huh? Are you so terrified about whether or not he's safe that it feels like someone's got your chest in a vice? <laughs> I didn't think so. Quark's got 9 BP. If I find him first, I might make him escape. So it's better for you if I haven't found him yet. Am I wrong? What's going on here? This doesn't sound like you. I know you're worried about the world. And just what the hell do you know? He's all I've got left. 
Uh, if something happens to him, something I'll... Happens to him, I'll... <laughs> it's all my fault. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I, I never should have brought him here. Did you say... Yes. Zero made me an offer. What? Wait a minute. I thought you said we're, we're abducted like the rest of us. You mean you came here voluntarily? Well... Can I see the other side of your bracelets? Why? Please, just do it. Going to, hurt you. going to hurt you. Is this some kind of chemical? Kind of chemical? Yeah. I found yeah. it when I was searching this room. Yeah. None of us did anything, man. Good work. It was dark Zero. now. Show me your bracelets again. Hmm. <laughs> that stuff you sprayed us with was luminol, wasn't it? Yeah. How'd you figure that out? I guess when you turned off the light. The stuff they use on cops shows to find blood and other stuff? Yeah. yeah. Why'd you spray us? Just relax, okay? That's all I needed to know. Neither one of you is Zero Senior. Are you saying that because there wasn't any reaction from the Luminol? Yep. Someone want explaining this to me? Well, you know as much as I do now. I was just making guesses based on what he was doing. Sorry, but I've got to go. I need to go look for Quark. you no matter who you are. Right now, we might as well assume Quark is a hostage. Zero Junior seems to be aware of everything that goes on here. If I tell you, he'll know. And then God only knows what Zero Senior will do. Please, I'm asking you. Put yourself in my shoes. Okay. something to do with it. That's news to me. It won't do you any good. Whatever you want to know, I don't know anything about it. Yeah? Then what is it? Oh. I see. You mean his bracelet, right? His bracelet, right? Chill, man. Chill, man. He's, a He's a red solo. I had a look while he was talking. <laughs> well, what is it then? When he sprayed us, he screamed at me. No. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I'm pretty sure you did. 
not quite so tough when you're scared, huh? Shut up! Shut up. We've got stuff to do. Stuff Get going! Get going! Move! We've got stuff to do! Move. Get going! Move! Oh. <laughs> we got stuff to do! Move to us! So, where is this death? Dead, dead end gonna be. Pretty sure it's gonna be. It looks like another warehouse. Excuse me. What's that over there? Probably more graffiti. There was one on floor A, too, remember? Never mind that. There's someone else here. Looks like it. Let's go see what he's up to. Oh. Nothing. Just going with the flow, you know? And seeing where life takes me. You don't seem to have any interest in searching for Quark. Why would I? Do we even know he's really missing? Maybe the little shit's just off having nap time somewhere. So I figure, let sleeping dogs lie, right? Or kids, in this case, I guess. If we wake him up, he might realize he's got enough BP to blow this popsicle stand and ditch us. That happens. It's all over. We'll be stuck in here for the rest of our lives. Which probably won't be that long. Yeah, did I stutter? Or did you just forget? Zero Junior told us, remember? The number nine door only opens once. Once that happens, it's all over. Careful, you could get stuck. So, what are you guys here for? Did you bring Fi here so I can kill her? What? Oh, really? Have you already forgotten your little stunt earlier? We're damn lucky Kate chose ally. If he hadn't, you'd be hanging from that crane right now. <laughs> Sounds like you're getting a little desperate. Sort of advice, Dio. That's not a smart attitude to have here. All you'll do is make sure that whoever plays against you in the AB game won't pick ally. You talk as if I give a fuck. I already know I won't be up against you too. Kay and I are the yellow pair. You guys are the magenta pair, right? Two pairs can't go through the same chromatic door. Simple enough for you. How do you know our colors? Kay told me. He was here a while ago. Speaking of which, Temioji and Clover were here too. Guess everybody misses my company. Anyway, that's how I know what everyone's colors are. Yeah. What about Luna? Luna? I haven't seen her. Anyway, Kay and I won't be pairing with you two. We'll be taking the blue solo. Oh, come on. Really that thick? Look at the doors in front of you. These are the next chromatic doors. Bingo. See that thing next to the door there? It looks familiar, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, it does. I get it. I get it. You and Kay are both yellow. You can get yellow by adding red and green together. If you add blue to that... <laughs> exactly. Right. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
The only one left is the other cyan pair, so we can assume that's what Quark is. No, there's only one option this time. All we gotta do now is wait for these white doors to open. Sorry, but I'm gonna stay here. I've been around so much as a pain in the ass. Right. On my way. So everybody's there for a special reason, huh? You brought Something, what's gonna be the, the, there has to be a roadblock or something, cause something has to prevent me from continuing. Well, well see that clock over there? The one, the, one the one that looks like the sun? It reminded me of something, we saw, me of something we saw earlier. <sighs> remember the graffiti on floor B? You remember what it said? Do you know what that means? What about the other part? What about the other part? Did you notice anything strange about that graffiti? What do you mean? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong answer. Maybe you're not the eagle eye I thought you were. I guess I have to do everything. Part of it was spelled wrong. Specifically, they spelled ninth wrong. It should be N I N T H. But the graffiti had N I N E T H. Oh. I guess you're right. Exactly. Exactly. It's kind of a bold hand. Maybe it wasn't a mistake at all. Maybe Zero put that E in there on purpose. Maybe because he didn't have enough letters otherwise. Anyway, if Zero wrote that graffiti, then it's got to be significant. Shit. Hey. It's already two minutes past, it's time. Two minutes past time. We should get moving. We should get moving.
No. Astute observation. Astute observation. What do you mean, what should we do? All we can do is wait. We don't want to end up missing each other by accident. Hey, where are you going? Just want to check something really quick. Check what? The last time we saw Alice alive, she was right here. Remember? Remember? She was kneeling down, she looking, was kneeling at, something down on the ground. looking at something on the ground. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What do you think she was looking at? Find something? Find something. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Nice work there, Sigma. Nice work there, Sigma. I don't need you to pat me on the back. It makes me feel stupid or something. The truth hurts. The truth hurts. Mm. The truth hurts. So, so, blood, huh? Blood, huh? Oh my god. Oh my god. I followed her gaze and found myself looking up at a metal crown. It was the kind you might see in a shipyard. Wait, Dio was talking about hanging somebody up with a metal crane. So, what's the deal with the crane? Whoa, damn, gone again. Stop running around. Just tell me what you found. I noticed something. The same thing Clover and Alice noticed. Look at the number six A B room. The side that's facing the wall has blood on it. It's the first thing you think of when you hear blood. Yeah, this whole thing kind of sucks, right? Come on, this is no time to be screwing around. I'm talking about this thing. The handkerchief Alice had. There's some blood on it that we assume belonged to the old lady. Consider this for a moment. Let's say this thing was on the floor next to the rightmost AB room. We'll assume that the blood on the side facing the wall came from this handkerchief. Okay, then what? Alice was looking at them. Right. What do you think was going through her mind? Wait a minute. If all, all wait, 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 wait. If all the other doors are closed, why is that one open? And 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 then who put it here? Oh wait, maybe someone just dropped it, or they could have thrown it. And you're almost there. Almost there. How long has this handkerchief been here? Something like that. Yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. So how long do you think so it was how here? How long do you think it was here? I imagine it wasn't here from the start. Wait. When's the start? When's the start? You know when we started. Finally figured it out, huh? Figured it out, huh? Wait. Wait. Yeah. Wait, what? Probably. They moved the rightmost one all the way to the left. 
So, what was in the leftmost AB room? And, who was trapped in there when the Nonary game started? Don't tell me Luna's body's in there. Third time. I could have walked off without saying it. My body felt like blood, but I forced myself to follow her. She stopped in front of the graffiti that began to milkman. What do you think this is? What do you think this is? Blood. Well, I thought it was just painful. I'm guessing you don't think so. Are you telling me? Are you Seems, like it. Seems like it. Oh! So we would have killed her here and taken her to the rightmost AD room? After that, she would have moved the room with the body in it so that no one would suspect her. Why would anybody suspect her though? Also, she was dead last time, so she couldn't be the killer. Hmm. Wait, it has to be a different killer. It's a different time, I know. Well, it's not time. So what about that handkerchief? This thing? This thing? Here, look. Here, you, look. See you see this line? It's possible that line is from whatever the weapon was. Which means this might have been wrapped around whatever was used to kill the old woman. So maybe Luna wrapped maybe the weapon Luna with this handkerchief, with this handkerchief. And, then and then threw it between the rightmost right room and the one next to it. Then when the room was moved, the room was moved it came out. It came out. <laughs> Seems pretty likely. This is a fucking murder mystery. This is all just speculation, understand? There are a whole lot of things we still don't know. Yeah, it's a mystery, all right. For example,
Interesting. I have to admit, you've got a point. You're going to make me repeat myself. I never said Luna was the killer. Still, I have a feeling Alice thought she was, which would mean that Clover probably does too. Oh, you mean that stuff she said about what she noticed. Right. Right. You're right. You're right. Sigma. Sigma. Phi. Phi. There you are. There you are. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have some bad news. Some bad news. Luna. Luna. Luna is dead. Luna is dead. She's in room two in She's the crew in quarters. In the, crew quarters. the same room where the Alice same was room murdered. Where Alice was murdered. What? Was it close? She, th if she thought that Al, if she thought that Luna was the killer, then she would have killed. Her. That's an injection gun. Where did she get it? I believe she was poisoned. See here, this device is some sort of syringe. I think it's called an injection gun. You can just put whatever you want in one of those vials and then pull the trigger. It's kind of like the needles in these bracelets. The drug they used is the same as well. The label on the vial says tubocurine. Yes. Since it's empty, I can only assume Luna was injected with it. You see the mark on her neck. I believe it is safe to assume that is where her attacker injected the drug. Perhaps they chose the neck for the carotid artery. Then your guess is probably correct. Luna was injected with tubocurarine and it killed her. Should I go get them? What do you mean? Yes? Yes. Luna and I split up as soon as we got to floor B. We determined it would be more efficient. Two of us working separately could cover more ground in less time. All right, so why were you late? What? You didn't show up till 20 minutes past the time we were supposed to meet. Sigma's asking you what you were doing. I was... 
resuscitating. Let me explain how I found her. I had gone to the warehouse five minutes before our meeting time. You had yet to show up, as had Luna. I believe I was standing between the yellow and cyan doors. Some minutes later, I heard something. It came from behind the cyan door and sounded like a woman's scream. Well, it was actually quite faint. It was several doors away, after all. And as such, I couldn't quite make out what was being said. Or even if I had heard it at all, it seemed entirely possible that I had imagined it. I heard no other sounds for a few minutes following the scream. Eventually, the silence made me uncomfortable. Perhaps something had happened. So, I made my way to the crew quarters. As I entered the hallway, I noticed that the door to room 2 was slightly ajar. That was when I first suspected something was amiss. You can imagine the rest, I'm sure. I ran into the room and found Luna on the floor. So you're saying you spent a good 20 minutes trying to re re retestitate her? Yes. I deduced that she had been injected with tubocurine. Her heart had stopped, so I attempted CPR. To the best of my abilities, at least. With this mask, I was obviously unable to provide artificial respiration. Because I had no reason to believe you would be in the warehouse. If you weren't, I would have wasted precious time. I chose instead to begin resuscitation immediately. As you know, even a short time without oxygen can cause serious brain damage. I felt time was of the essence. But... Hey, how much time passed between when you heard the scream and when you came in here and found her? I'm afraid I can't say exactly, but I would hazard a guess that it was around three minutes. Did you see the killer? No, I did not. <laughs> that would have been plenty of time. When you leave this room, immediately to your left is a door that connects to the hallway. I assume they left that way. Is there any chance they hid in this room somewhere? No. I examined the room thoroughly before I left to find you. Um, may I say something? Yeah, sure. I'm not sure if this has anything to do with Luna, but there was something I wanted to point out. Look at Alice. Do you notice anything? The weapon. The watch is gone. Indeed. The wound suggests a knife, but I doubt we'll know now. I don't know How would I know? Fucking, I don't know why they didn't bring it with them. Why are you asking me? Hmm. Mm. Yeah, that would make yeah, sense. That would make Sigma, if you were going to kill someone, which of these two methods would you use? I wouldn't kill This is hypothetical. I would choose the injection gun. Right? Most people would choose that. The more you can divorce yourself from the actual killing, the easier it is to kill someone. There's a big difference between stabbing someone and injecting them with poison. So you're saying they took the knife before they killed her? No. no. I don't know either way. Don't know either way. They, could they could have taken it afterwards. There's no way for us to know. It's not impossible. Three minutes is longer than you think. Anyway, Anyway, what I was trying to say is that I don't know when they took the knife or whatever it was. We came here to get Alice's bracelet, and then Kay came by later. There was probably about a 30-minute window. Anyone could have taken it. They might not even have been the same person who killed Luna. Or it could be. There really isn't any way to know. And if we don't know, 
We really shouldn't try and draw conclusions. That could color our reasoning, and that's not good. Conclusions without any evidence are useless. So just forget any conclusions you might have come up with. Save that brain space for something more useful. Well, I think that about covers it. We clear? Good. Anyway, we should tell the others. About Luna, you mean? Yeah. We should go to the White Doors, then. Dio should still be there. Hopefully, Tenmyoji and Clover will be there as well. Yeah, good point. Please, so take this with you. Take this with you. He handed it out to me. I stared down at the bracelet. Felt wrong to just take it. Like we were just losing and abandoning him. Is something the matter? Is something the matter? You and Fi are the magenta pair. Without, Without the green solo bracelet, you won't be able to open the secondary door. <laughs> Then he passed the bracelet gently into my hand. If you don't wish Lee's death to be meaningless, then you must survive. Or do you intend to die without catching her killer? K. Right, yes. Damn K. Good. Shall we go? Shall we go? Wait. Wait. Shit. Shit. Did something happen? No. Well, no. not yet. Not yet. We might be looking at Maybe a worst case yet. scenario. Worst case scenario. Uh, huh? Excuse me? Excuse me. God. God. What the hell is wrong with me? What the hell is wrong with me? How did I miss this? How did I miss this? I'm sorry. Huh? I'm sorry. This is my fault. This is my fault. It's just huh? it's just <sighs> there was so much going on I wasn't so much thinking. Going on, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> what? What is what is it, goddammit? What did you miss? Quark. Quark. Ooh. Oh. Oh, oh shit. And the red solo. Clover the scion pair. What's the other scion pair? If not with them, they can get through the secondary door. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Oh dear. Whoa. This is bad. And if they haven't gotten in by the time the primary door shuts, they'll be penalized. If we haven't found Quark by then. Time. How much time do we have left? Four minutes. Let's just go to the warehouse on floor B. Perhaps Quark has already been found. <laughs> Not even Dio. Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. You're late. You're late. What the fuck were you thinking? What the fuck were you thinking? You trying to kill me? You trying to kill me? What? what? How the fuck would I know? How the fuck would I know? 
here. I've been here. Look, forget about him. Where's Alice's bracelet? Which one of you has it? Look around, asshole. What do you think? Hey, pay attention. The bracelet. Do you have Alice's bracelet? Hand it over. Hand it over. Good. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, what is this? Hey. What, you don't like this door? You don't like this door? Fine, we can take a different one. Take a different as long as we're in the right group, it shouldn't matter which door we take. That's not the issue. And please, tell me, what the fuck is the issue? Being a human being, three of us still haven't arrived. If we leave them behind... Oh, come on! Now you're gonna grow a heart? If you stay here, you're gonna kill me! But... Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Alright. Fine. I'll be honest with you. The truth is, I've got a kid. A baby. I was told that if I didn't win this game, my kid's as good as dead. And that's... You have to trust me. I swear, it's God's honest truth. Zero told me to keep it under wraps, but... I figure I don't, I don't have a lot of choice right now. I'll tell you more once we get inside. Please. Please. It's a lie. Don't listen to him. I wanted to scream. Dio was obviously live, but it looked like Kay was buying it. But he has to go in and I can do it. Why do you think they both died? You have to believe me, Kay. Please, if you won't do it for me, do it for my kid. If I lose, it's all over. Please. Kay turned to look at me and Phil. We both nod silently back. I understand. Let's go. Really? Yes. I have one condition, however. A condition? Yes. But it's not for you, Dio. Sigma, I want you and Phi to go into one of the doors as well. Dio and I cannot be the only survivors. I would have the two of you join us. That is my condition. Damn it. Couldn't make this easy, could you? What do you say? The decision is yours. your fucking head for once. You're gonna get us killed. Is that what you want? I can't just leave them behind. Me either. I agree with Sigma. You can't just ditch them. I'm staying. Bunch of fucking idiots. One minute remains until chromatic doors close. I see. I suspected that would be your answer. You leave me with no choice then. My apologies. Huh? My apologies. Huh? 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 You have my sympathy. I wish there was another way. Do you... Actually, believe, do you? No, of course not. I only wish to save you. If I had not forced the issue, neither of you would have budged. Such is your character. What are you doing? Bess, I am not entirely sure. I will think about it during the ten seconds that remain. Goodbye. Oh.
Chromatic doors closing. Not quite able to walk yet. I crawled out of the secondary door. Man, he okay, must be strong as hell. The punch K had given me had been incredibly powerful, and my arms and legs still felt numb and tingling. Can you yeah. Yeah. Can we just can we just sit here for a moment though? Sit here for a moment, though. My body's gonna be my fine, but gonna be fine, I think but I need a little time to get my feelings time sorted to get my feelings out. Sorted out. Your feelings? I nodded in my, and we sat there in silence. No matter what I did, I couldn't get their faces out of my head. Cork, I hope they were all right somehow, but I wasn't sure how much time had passed before I stood up. We should go. We should go. And that was it. She turned and headed for the end of the hallway. Feet dragging as if she was carrying something heavy. Yeah. Fucking a huge ass burden, my guy. And she blames... Survival's guilt. She blames herself partly. Yeah, it said security. The footage from the surveillance cameras might run through here. I'm not sure. Right now, all the screens are dark. Even if we could activate them, I doubt Zero is just going to let us watch whatever we want. Yeah. Well, let's see what we can do here. Video's been going pretty long, guys. I'll we'll probably continue this um, next time. Yeah. Next time. Oh my god, I thought my fucking game crashed. Save, game crashes.